All right. Looks like we are live. Get set up here. Power went out last stream. If you were uh, if you were watching that, you'll know that happened. Got my streamer juice for this morning. Uh, this one's a pipeline punch. Excited about it. I like I like all the ones that have the full color cans of these. Hope everyone's enjoying their weekend so far. Let's see, I've got to get gotta get the game started up. Have I sent out a tweet? Not sure. Let's see. All right, let's tweet. Put the link. What do you guys think? Should I have links or no links when I do tweets about being live? I feel like links are useful, but I also feel like it looks kind of lame if my page just gets completely full of tweet after tweet after tweet that all has my link in it. And so I'm not sure. Not sure how I feel about it. Not sure what to do. Man, right now. My lighting is really, let's see, does that help at all? Really lopsided, try like that. Uh, okay, give me a sec. That's slightly better. I'm gonna go with it like that. Oh. 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 I can already feel that sound getting nostalgic and I haven't even haven't even really gotten into this. I understand why this game was so popular. I would have liked it just for this. We have a couple more minutes for anyone who might still just be uh, realizing them online or maybe getting to their computers. Because, yeah, I think people are that interested. <laughs> oh. Let's hit continue, get this loaded up, and then I'll get you guys onto the live scene. Hey, Kev. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Hopefully, uh, apparently a tree fell down. So, I mean, what, what can you do, I guess? But it was a bit frustrating. It's actually the first time since I've lived in this apartment that the entire power has ever gone out. Normally, we're on, like, multiple grids, so only half of our power goes out when the power goes out on us. Um, okay, so let me take you guys to my live scene, which is right here. Boom, excellent. So I am pretty close to where I was. We didn't lose where you go, uh, yeah, I mean, it goes out once in a while, but we only, we keep most of our lights on. Like, if the power goes out, either the half of the house that has the fridge power goes out, and we have to get an extension cord, and we can plug the fridge back in, or or the other half of the house goes out, and then, and then we just don't have to worry about any of our food or anything, which is really nice. Let's use a steel war hammer. And 
Which way did it go? I went this way. Oh, he stopped hammering. Where is he? Time to end this Time for me. No. Oh, this is not a good start. This is not a good start at all. Darn it. Should I try the sword? Maybe the sword is better because it's a bit faster. Ancient Nord. Or the axe. Oh wait, why don't I have the sword? You can give armor and weapons to Lydia by talking to her. I'm right behind you. I need to How trade some things with you. Lydia has a steel sword. Okay, so if I give her a cool weapon, she'll use that? Um, that could be a good thing. It's a little bit... I want to keep the Axe of White Run because that's like a cool... Hmm, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Does she have weight? Or can she just carry like a pack mule? Because if she can be a pack mule... <laughs> Guess what your new job is, Lydia. Uh, okay, take that. No, how do I... There you go. Give that. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's fine. Lead on. Good job, Lydia. Okay, that's super useful though, because now I have at least slightly less crap. I feel like this is the one thing I remember from my attempt to play this game before. Ah! Gold, spell tone, key. Half of sparks. Take that. It's worth a lot of money, at least. Uh, okay, let's go. What I need to do is figure out my favorites bar. I have so many things favorited. And it's just just too much, you know? Need to uh, figure out what I'm actually using. Magicka is low, which may prevent you. Yeah, that's okay. I just, I just use it to heal. I don't... See, I want to have a shield, but I really am not like loving the single-handed weapons. So I might go back to the steel warhammer while Lydia has the fancy axe. And then we can do some serious damage, hopefully. Let's go! There was a chair there. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm so dead. Uh, no, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Okay, this time. Man, I was doing so much better the other day before the power went out. I did all of this without dying. 
Okay, let's go, Lydia. I want to trade items with you. I want you to take... Where is it? Oh, do you already have it? Oh, this is the one. Uh, give that. I want to give you a few things. Apparel. Gold necklace. Minor conjuring. shield, armor 24, armor 22, okay, take that, Lydia, scrolls, I wonder if Lydia will learn, will Lydia learn scrolls if I was to give them to her? my Warhammer, because I think that's what I like. Don't know. Okay. We'll experiment with that at some point. That's on the list to, uh... Time to end this Got him. Good job, Lydia. Cast healing on Lydia. I don't know if I can because I think it just does it to the caster. Oh my goodness. We're doing so bad today. We literally just blazed through all this yesterday when we were before the power went out. Okay. Lydia, come talk to me. I want to trade some things. Maybe Lydia's better with the sword. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Apparel. I gave you this. And... Well, I'm not wearing this, so I may as well give that to her. Scrolls. A scroll of Fireball. No. Give. Oh, are scrolls like a one-time cast? That probably makes some sense. Bear claws. Arbal. Oh, these ingots are... Oh, they're not that heavy. Okay, never mind. I thought the ingots were going to be really heavy. Lead on. Let's grab that. Hmm. My... Oh, okay, sorry guys. I'm just going to fight with my... Uh... My activity feed is just always totally getting messed up, and it's only when I play this game. I think we'll get it now. Seems like it's okay. Is someone there? Time to end this little game. Ah, uh, yes. Did Lydia? She did. She just casted Fireball. Okay, so if you give Lydia a scroll, she will use it. Can I give Still you... Here. I need... Ah! Wow, Lydia, good job. Okay. I want to How can I serve you? I need thing? to trade some things with you because 
I want to give you, I already have healing. So you take that and hopefully you will learn it. You lead, I'll follow. And then I've got to fix my favorites again. Restoration. Healing. Okay. Beautiful. Now, you know what? I'm going to actually do this different. I'm going to grab my bow. Really? of extra magicka pine thrush egg that seems cool leave all that stuff soul gem oh yeah love that for me oh and this is the book we were reading i don't think i'm gonna read this whole book this time we'll, we'll find a different book and I'll read a different book to you guys because we read most of it the other day for the power that was like what we were doing when the power went out oh there's another oh I don't want the basket darn it coin purse read City of Stone, a cell sword's guide to market. If you're cutting your coins across Skyrim, you'll want to point your blade towards Marketh, the capital city of the Reach. There's no end of trouble in the City of Stone. That means plenty of ways for you to earn your supper. Your cell sword instinct should point towards the wealthiest patrons with the fattest pur purses to work for. But you need to mind yourself during your resting hours. Marketh isn't like your white run. Your mercenary companies, like the companions, make a cell sword an honored professional. No, Marketh has its own rules. The natives aren't going to just tell you. Lucky for you, old, old Miss Aelia is there to shine a torchlight over your thick skulls. First thing you'll notice is the city of stone. The stone, they say the dwarves cut out of the city in the mountain. Cut the city out from the mountain. Maybe they did by the look of it. But what it really means is that the whole place is vertical and the streets are really cliffs. Long story short, be careful when you've got a belly full of mead. When you enter the city proper, you'll immediately hit the market. The merchants usually sell food and jewelry on the street. Mead is, preferred ra is the preferred ration. The craggy rocks in the area make for poor farming land and silver is used to make the most. All the rings and necklaces you might buy thanks to the large silver mine in the city. We'll get to that in a bit. <clears throat> Whatever you do, don't ask the Marcath city god about, guard about anything. They're about as helpful as an angry frostbite spider. You're caught, well, you're caught in its web, and if you mention anything about the Forsworn to them, the Forsworn, they might spit in your eyes, speaking of the Forsworn. These wild men and women will be your main source of income while you're in the Marcath. The Yarl almost always has a bounty on some Forsworn leader or another. If you don't mind going blade to axe with someone, two septums short of a pint of ale is steady work. The Silver Blood Inn is where you want to head into after seeing the market. The drinks are as usual watered down and judging by the metallic taste with water from the rivers that run through the city's smelter district, what's important here is getting a room to stay in. You won't find any friendly faces to con your way into cheap places to stay Mark in Marquette. The natives don't trust strangers to sit, so save yourself the trouble and put down the coin to rent a real room. After you've spent a day recovering from travel, you'll see that Marquette is divided into two sides. 
by the big crag in the center. The part with the big river running through is called Riverside, and the other call is called Dryside. They're very clever with their names. The Riverside is where the smelter and the native workers live, so don't bother going there. Instead, head directly to the dry side and talk to the Nord nobles. See what problems you can start solving at the highest rate. Two major places to see are the Temple of Debella and the Tidma Mine. The temple rests on top of a central crag, a good place to go if you're on good terms with the divines. But be warned, the priestess of Debella don't allow men into their inner sanctums, so don't go crashing down there uninvited unless you want a short trip and a long fall. City of Mine is the place where all the silver comes from that I mentioned before, but it's also the jail. Marquette uses prisoners to mine the ore, and there's a lot of it, so don't get caught doing something illegal in the city, or you'll be hauled down there to dig. Apparently the whole place is owned by one of the big families in the city, the Silverbloods. Notice the inn is named after them? Always keep your sellsword eye open for hints like that. I tried meeting with the head of the Silverblood family to see if they had any work, but guarding their minds isn't the blood rush. I become a mercenary for. Something to keep in mind for yourself if you're thinking of staying a few months. The final place I'll talk about that here is Understone Keep, the home of the Jarl and Markath. Fancy place like any other, assuming your place is built underground. But what you need to know is the city underneath, underneath the keep. That's right, there's another city below Markath, one of those old dwarven runes they sometimes have. Expeditions in the runes that make a good job, guarding the scholars and maybe lifting a few stones here and there. If you're lucky, you might come across one of those old dwarven machines and you can bring back a souvenir after you're done breaking it apart. All right, Miss Aleg's hand is getting tired and that means this guy is done. Last piece of advice, don't cause trouble in Markath. Don't start fights. Don't stop fights. Don't stick your head anywhere without someone from the city paying you for it. Because believe me, no one in Markath wants you there. Make your gold, drink your meat, see what's there to see, and move on. Nothing changes in the City of Stone, and that's just fine. That sounds like a cool place. Where is that on the map? Can I see? Oh, world map. Can I see that on here? Is it one of the big ones? Morthal, Solitude, Rorikstead, High Haranger, Riften, Windhelm. Yeah, I don't think it's on here. Okay, well, we'll find it at some point. Oh, that's Lydia. Jeez, Lydia. You scared me. Bellow Keep Dungeons. Oh, we're going deep. I think I'm starting like a big side quest that I hope I'm oh. ready for. What's that, Lydia? What are you so upset about? Tankard. Ah. Okay, we've gotten ourselves into this. Hey! Should I just leave this place? Like, I feel like I was definitely not ready for whatever this side quest is. But let's see. Let's try one more time. A couple more times. Three more times.
Hmm. You're coming back. Lydia, shoot. Get him? We almost got him. Okay, healing. It's tough. Oh, you do you know this dungeon? We're gonna try it. We're gonna see if we can do it. Okay. There's a tomb on the altar. I wanna figure out what this red dot is and try to kill this last guy. Okay, seems like we're safe up here for a moment. Lydia, quit being a... Are there wolves in here? Search these guys. Coin. I'm trying to take the things that are worth a lot, I think. Necromancer. Iron. No. Oh, a tome. Bell tone, raise a zombie. I didn't get it. Hey. Read Dunner of Dunmer of Skyrim. I don't want to read another book right now. Oh, should I open that tome? Will that give me, uh, will that give me points? Books. Spell tome. Okay. Just a novice. Got you. Haha. <laughs> you thought you found me. Turns out you were the one who got found. Boy. Oof, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Okay. Read The Legend of the Red Eagle. Take Rune Book. Did we read another book? This. Heck. Can I even read this book before, like, wolves come? Goat cheese, city of stone. Read the Black Arrow, version one. That sounds cool. All these books sound so cool. The Black Arrow, version one. I was young when the Duchess of Wada hired me as an assistant footman at her summer play, Palace. My experience with the ways of the titled aristocracy was very limited before that day. There were wealthy merchants, traders, diplomats, and officials who had large operations in Elden Root and in ostentatious places for entertaining, but my relatives were all humans far away from social circles. There was no family business for me when I reached adulthood. My cousin heard that an estate far from the city required servants. It was remotely located. So there were unlikely to be many applicants for the positions. I walked for five days into the jungles of Balewood before I met my group of riders. In the direction they, 
They were three Bosmer men, one Bosmer woman, two Breton women, and a drummer man. Drummer. Adventurers from the look of them. Are you also going to Molivia? asked Prolissa, one of the Breton women, after we had made our introductions. I don't know what that is, I replied. I'm seeking a domestic position with Dutch Swoda. We'll take you to her gate, said Dunmer Misson, akin pulling me to his horse. But you would be wise not to tell her, Grace, that students from Molivia escorted you, not unless you don't really want the position in her service. Akin ex explained himself as we rode on. Molivia was the closest village to the Duchess estate where the great and renowned archer had retired after a long life of military service. His name was Heomaste, and though he was retired, he had begun to accept students who wished to learn about the art of the bow. In time, when word spread of the great teacher, more and more students arrived to learn from the master. The Breton woman had come down all the way from the western reach of High Rock. A kin himself had journeyed across the continent from his home, near the great volcano in Morrowind. He showed me the ebony arrows he had brought from his homeland. I had never seen anything so black. From what we've heard, said Kopale, one of the Bosmer men, the Duchess, is an imperial whose family has been here for the empire before the empire was formed. So you might think that she was accustomed to the common people of Valewood. Nothing could be further from the truth. She despises the village and the school most of all. I suppose she wants to control all the traffic in her jungle, laughed Prolissa. I accepted the information with gratitude and found myself dreading more and more my first meeting with the intolerant Duchess. My first sight of the place through the trees did nothing to assuage my fears. It was nothing like any building I had ever seen in Val Valenwood. A vast edifice of stone and iron with a jagged row of battlements like the jaws of the great beast. Most of the trees near the palace had been hewn a long away. I could only imagine the scandal that must have caused and what fear the Bosmer peasants must have had of the Duchy of Woda to have allowed it. In their stead was a wide grey-green moat circling in a ring around the palace, so it seemed to be on a perfect artificial island. I had seen such sights and tapestries from High Rock and the Imperial Province, but never in my homeland. There will be a guard at the gate, so we'll leave you here, said Akin, stopping his horse on the road. It would be best if you weren't with the damned association of us. I thanked my companions and wished them good luck with their schooling. They rode on and I followed on foot. In a few minutes' time I was at the front gate, which I noticed was linked tall and ornate railings to keep the compound secure. When the gatekeeper understood that I was there to inquire about a domestic position, he allowed me past and signaled to another guard across to open the lawn and extend the drainage drawbridge to allow me to cross the moat. <clears throat> there was one last security measure, the front door, an iron monstrosity with the Woda coat of arms across the top, reinforced by strips of iron and a single golden keyhole. The, man, the standing guard unlocked the door and gave me passage into the huge gloomy grey stone palace. Her grace greeted me in her drawing room. She was thin and wrinkled like a reptile cloaked in a simple red gown. It was obviously that she never smiled. Our interview consisted of a single question. Do you know anything about being a junior footman in the employment of an imperial noblewoman? Her voice was like an ancient leather. No, your grace. Good. No servant ever understands what needs to be done, and I particularly dislike those who think they do. You're engaged. Life at the palace was joyless, but the position of junior footman was very undemanding. I had nothing to do most days except to stay out of the Duchess's sight. At such times, I usually walked two miles down the road to Melibia. In some ways, there was nothing special or unusual about the village. There are thousands of identical places in Valenwood, but on the hillside nearby was Master Histomet's Archery Academy, and I would often take my luncheon to watch them practice. Prolissa and Akin, who sometimes meet at the app, meet me afterwards with Akin, the subjects of conversation very seldom stray far from archery. Though I was very f fond of him, I found Prolissa a more enchanting companion, not only because she was pretty for a Breton, but also because she seemed to have interest outside the realm of marksmanship. There was a circus in High Rock. I saw when I was a little girl called the Quill Circus, she said during one of our walks through the woods. They've been around for as long as anyone can remember. You have to see them if you ever can. 
They have plays and sideshows, and they're the most amazing acrobats and archers you've ever seen. That's my dream, to join them someday, when I'm good enough. How will you know when you're good enough of an archer, I asked. She didn't answer, and when I turned and realized that she had disappeared, I looked around bewildered until I heard laughter from the tree above me. She was perched on a branch, grinning. I may not join as an archer. Maybe I'll join as an acrobat, she said, or maybe both. I figured that Valenwood would be the place to go see what I could learn. You've got all those great teachers to imitate in the trees here, those ape men. She coiled up, bracing her left leg, springing forward on her right. In a second, she had leapt across to a neighboring branch. I found it difficult to keep talking to her. The Imga, you mean, I stammered. Aren't you nervous up at that height? It's a cliche, I know, she said, jumping to an even higher branch. The secret is not ever to ever look down. Would you mind coming down? I probably should, anyhow, she said. With She was good, 30 feet up now, balancing herself, arms outstretching on a very narrow branch. She gestured towards the gate, barely visible on the other side of the road. This tree is actually as close as I want to get to your duchess's palace. I held back aghast as she dove off the branch, somersaulting until she landed on the ground, knees slightly bent. That was the trick, she explained, anticipating the blow before it happened. I expressed to, I expressed to her my confidence that she would be a great attraction at the Quill Circus. Of course, I know that that was never to be. On that day, as I recall, I had to return early. It was one of those rare occasions when I had work of a sort to do. Whenever the Duchess had guests, I was to be at the palace. That is not to say that I had any particular duties, except to be seen standing at attention in the dining room. The stewards and maids worked hard to bring food and clear the plates afterwards, but the footmen were purely decorative, a formality, but at least I was an audience for the drama to come. <laughs> Frost Miriam that okay that's enough reading for now we've done lots of that i also thought while i was doing that i should do a quick save and then hopefully that means i'll come back to this place if i die in this from these wolves that are evidently somewhere up here Get him. Good. Okay. Got him. No problem. Soul gem. That's fine. Cannot be picked. Oh, that you're in cages. Oh, okay. That's good. Is there any good reason to unlock this? I don't think so. They're just going to eat me if I unlock them. Soul gems. I think these soul gems are worth having. I don't really know what to do with them. Darn it. Oh, okay, so it's like... Oh! Ah! Use soul gems to enchant stuff and recharge enchantments. Okay. Another iron warhammer. Orcish greatsword. Carrying too much to be able to run. Darn it. Coin purse. Okay. Come here, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Need to trade some things with you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Well, the, you don't have to feel be so upset about it. No. How can I serve you, my thane? Yeah, see, that's... That's more like it. A little upbeat. Oh, 
I want you to take Orcish Greatsword does 20 damage. No, I won't give you that. And to give you that, Steel Warhammer. Yeah, and I can. Okay, sure, you can Let's use that axe, that's fine. Let's get my Warhammer out. Oh, wait, there's levers. <laughs> oh, the lever crunk. I could pull this lever. Oh, hey, how's it going, Isabel? Sleep. I don't think I want to sleep. That lever. It's snowing out? Oh my goodness, it... It literally is snowing out. I don't know how I feel about that. This tankard. Why would I want to let those out? Not good, no. I think they're going to attack me if I let them out. They sound quite upset, so I'm just going to just going to leave those guys in there. Oh, let's do a quick save. Quick save. Never a bad idea. Search the dresser. Okay. Bell glow keep. Can I get in there? Yeah, I got to keep that. Iron Battle Axe. Mm, that doesn't seem that great. Minor healing. Can never have too many potions for healing. Oh, am I back to the... I'm back out? That was it? Cast Iron Pot. Large Sack. Oh. Well, that's annoying. I feel like that was a whole lot of work for not a lot of reward. Ooh. What's this? Quicksilver ingots? Arcane enchanter. Cannot use this. I'm not in combat. Where is the enemy that's making me be in combat? There you are. Die! Um, that's good. Sis, wooden bowl. Just some shoes. I don't need any shoes. Already got them. Huh. Okay, well, this seems like this was a giant waste of time. That's okay. We have done it. Let's do a quick healing. Da -da 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 -da. Let's get my Warhammer. We'll hold on to that and we'll go back out to Skyrim. <clears throat> it's book club starting soon, Isabel. I like these loading screens. I just wish you could, like, spin the model around and, like, see the characters from all their different sides and things. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay. Well, let's take a look on our map here. We gotta get... Oh, I always put those. Okay, so we gotta get 
pretty darn south and a little bit east. So east, south, in a this way direction approximately. And we no longer have the horse that we stole. That guy's dead. I killed him already. Thought you could click and drag. Or was it arrow keys? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Kev. Thought you could click and drag. Or was it the arrow keys? Like when I'm picking locks? When I'm picking locks, it... Uh, it, it just moves when I move my mouse. Oh, okay, I'll try that. Hmm. Can I get down to that bridge? Huh. Okay. Let's try to go up here, Lydia. We are mountaineers. And we will. Oh, is that. Does that mean there's a dragon up there? Do you see on my little navigating bar there's like a dragon head? Could I kill another dragon right now? Or is that. Was the first dragon just like easier? Hey! Oh, thanks, Lydia. Why the heck would these things have gold? I feel like they need... It, there's just a dead fox there. Huh. Mine a Collium ore vein? You can mine in this game? They'd be eating rich folks. I guess that makes sense. If they, like, feasted on a rich guy, they might eat a little bit of gold. Can I get down to that? <laughs> okay. Q. What are the chances this guy wants me dead? No. Oh, oh. There we go. Die. He's a bandit, yeah, he wants me dead. Die. Hey, bandit. Where'd you go? Hey, whoa. Is that him? Okay, we gotta go down. We're not getting them. Come on, Lydia. Time to go. We're going into battle. No, I got them. Okay. Search bandit. Fur armor. That's not as good as what I have. Gold iron shield. Iron armor is not as good as what I have. Gold shield. Sparks. That's worth a lot. Gauntlets. Ah! Ah. Wow, 
Why can't I get him? Okay, let's go. We're on the road, Lydia. Pickaxe. I'm gonna take that, because... End table. Gold. Stopped, you can't see us anymore. Let's uh, get my Warhammer out just in case. Blacksmith's apron, Alchemy Lab, Healing, Search the Dresser. Okay, no, I don't want to read another book. We've done a lot of reading today. Maybe later we'll... Ooh! Ah! Gold. Nice. Gold. Boots. A deft hand's pickpocket success is 20% better. Yeah, you know, I'll take those at least. Oh, I just said that we weren't going to read more, but we just read about the Black Arrow. So should we read? Should we read the second one? We read the first one, so why wouldn't we read the second one, right? In the last dinner in my employ at the palace, the Duchess quite surprisingly had invited the mayor of Melivia and Master Hyomaste himself, along with her other guests. The servants' gossip was manic. The mayor had been there before, albeit very irregularly, but Hyomaste's presence was unthinkable. What could she mean by such a consolatory gesture? The dinner itself progressed along with per perfect, if slightly cool, civility among all parties. Hyamaste and the Duchess were both very quiet. The mayor tried to engage the group in a discussion of the Emperor Pelagius IV's new son and heir, Uriel, but it failed to spark much interest. Lady Vilia, elderly but not much more vivacious than her sister, the Duchess, led most of the talk about crime and scandal in Elden Root. I've been encouraging her to move out of the country and away from all that unpleasantness for years now, the Duchess said, meeting the eyes of the mayor. We've been discussing more recently the possibility of her building a palace on Melivia Hill, but there's so little space there, as you know. Fortunately, we've come to a discovery where there's a wide field just a few days west of the edge of the river, ideally suited. It sounds perfect, the mayor smiled and turned to Lady Vilia. When will your ladyship be begin building? The very day you move your village to the site, replied the Duchess of Woda. The mayor turned to her to see if she was joking. She was obviously not. Think of how much more commerce you could bring to your village if you were close to the river, said Lady Vilia jovially. And Master Hyamaste's students could have easier access to his fine school. Everyone would benefit. I know it would put my sister's heart at ease if there was less trespassing and poaching on her lands. There's no poaching or trespassing on your lands now, your grace, frowned Hyamaste. You do not own the jungle, nor will you. The villagers may be persuaded to leave that, that I don't know, but my school will stay here where it is. Hey, Kojo. We're reading. We, we said we were going to be done reading books today, but then we found one that was the direct sequel. This is about the Black Arrow. This is about some archer dude who teaches school and, and, uh, an angry ruler <laughs> and the main character is like her foot maid foot something servant her servant the dinner party never really recovered happily he and and the mayor excused themselves and my services such as they were were not needed in the drawing room where the group went to have their drinks there was no laughter to be heard through the walls that evening the next day even though there was a dinner planned for the evening I left on my usual walk to Melivia before I had even reached the drawbridge. The guard held me back. Where are you going, Gorgic? Not to the village, are you? Why not? 
He pointed to the plume of smoke in the distance. A fire broke out very early this morning and is going is still going, apparently. It started at the Master Gimaste's school. It looks like the work of some traveling brigands. Less Stendar, I cried. Are the students alive? No one knows, but it'd be a miracle if any survived. It was late and most everyone was sleeping. I know they've already found the Master's body, or what was left of it. And they also found a girl, your friend Pro Prolissa. I spent the day in a state of shock. It seemed inconceivable. What my instinct told me that two noble old ladies and Lady Vilia and the Duchess of Woda had arranged for the village and school that irritated them to be reduced to ashes. At dinner, they mentioned the fire in Melivia only very briefly, as if it were not news at all, but I did see the Duchess smile for the first time ever. It was a smile I will never forget until the day I die. The next morning I had resolved to go to the village and see if I could be of any assistance to the survivors. I was passing through the servants' hall to the grand foyer when I heard the sound of a group of people ahead of the guards, and most of the servants there were there pointing at the portrait of the Duchess that hung in the center of the hall. There was a single black bolt of ebony piercing the painting right at the Duchess's heart. I recognized it at once. It was one of Misana Kin's arrows. I had seen it in his quiver. Forged, he said, in the bowels of Dagoth Ul itself. My first reaction was relief. The Dunmer, who had been kind enough to give me a ride to the palace, had survived the fire. My second reaction echoed by all present in the hall. How had the vandal gotten past the guards in the gate moat and the massive iron door? The Duchess, arriving shortly after I was clearly furious that she, too, was well-bred to show. The Duchess, arriving shortly after, I was clearly furious. She too was well bred to show it by raising her web thin eyebrows. She wasted no time in assigning all her servants to new duties to keep the palace grounds guarded at all times. We were given regular shifts and precise narrow patrols. The next morning, despite all precautions, there was another black arrow piercing the Duchess's portrait. So it continued for a week's time. The Duchess saw it that saw to it that at least one person was always present in the foyer. But always, the, somehow, the arrow always found its way to her, painting wherever the guard's eyes were momentarily averted. A complex series of signals were devised so each patrol could report back any sounds or disturbances they encountered during their vigil. At first, the Duchess arranged them so her Castellian would receive a record of any disturbances during the day, and the chief of the guard during the night. But when she found that she could not sleep, she made certain that information came to her directly. The atmosphere in the palace had shifted from gloomy nightmarish to nightmarish. A snake would slither across the moat and suddenly her grace would be tearing through the east wing to investigate. A strong gust of wind ruffling the leaves on one of the few trees in the lawn was a similar emergency. An unfortunate lone traveler on the road in front of the palace, a completely innocent man as it turned out, brought such a violent reaction that he must have thought he had stumbled into a war. In a way, he had. And every morning, there was a new arrow in front of the hall, mocking her. I was given the terrible assignment of guarding the portrait for a few hours in the early morning. Not wanting to be the one to discover the arrow, I seated myself in a chair opposite, never letting my eyes move away for even a second. I don't know if you've had the experience of watching one object relentlessly, but it has a strange effect. All other senses vanish. That was why I particularly startled when the Duchess rushed into the room, blurring the gulf for me between her portrait and herself. There's something moving behind the tree across the road from the gate. She roared, pushing me aside and fumbling with her key in the gold lock. She was shaking with madness and excitement. The key did not seem to want to go in. I reached out to help her, but the Duchess was already kneeling, her eye to the keyhole, to be certain that the key went through. It was precisely in that second that the arrow arrived, but this one never made it as far as the portrait. I actually met Miss Anakin years later when I was in Morrowind to entertain some nobles. He was impressed that I had risen from being a humble domestic servant to being a bard of some renown. He himself had returned to the Ashlands and like his old master Hiamaste was retired to the simple life of teaching and hunting. I told him that I had heard that the Lady of Vilia had decided not to leave the city and that the village of Modiva had been rebuilt. He was happy to hear that but I could not find a way to ask him what I really wanted to know. I felt like a fool just wondering if 
what what I thought were true, that he had been behind Polissi's tree across the road from the Iron Gate every morning that summer, firing an arrow through the gate, across the lawn, across the moat, through a keyhole, and into a portrait of the Duchess of Woda until he struck the Duchess herself. It was clearly an impossibility. I chose not to ask. As we left one another that day, he was waving goodbye, and I said, I am pleased to see you doing so. Well, my friend, I'm happy you moved to that chair. Oh, That's a cute story. I mean, it's not a cute story. I mean, it's like someone did get killed, but you know what I mean. Imperial Bow of Sapping. Items. Let's see, is that bow better than the bow that I have right now? Damage 10. This is way better. Oh no, that's a sword. Imperial bow. 10 points of magicka damage. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll try. I'll try. Oh, I'm too heavy again. Lydia. I've got your back. I need you to trade some things. How can I serve you, my thane? By carrying all of my stuff. You know? Uh, weapons, I need you to take. Nope. That. I need you to take. I mean, I'll keep the pickaxe. For now, I guess that's all I need you to take. Let's get going then. Yep. Let's do it. Uh,. So, Okojo, can Lydia actually die, or is is she just always going to be with me unless I told her I don't want her anymore? Or do you know? And there was definitely another guy over here. What the heck? Why does that do that? Hmm. Okay. Let's get my Warhammer out, actually. Where are you? I can see you on my little... Now you'll pay. Oh, Lydia's got him. They can die, but I would have to be the one that kills her. In interesting. Okay. Well, it didn't seem like there was really anything. Don't think companions can die, but you don't know for sure. Okay, that's kind of cool. Can I get more, more companions? Like, can I have a whole posse going with me? Because that would be fun. One at a time unless you mod. Oh, okay. That's fair. So I guess if I get offered another one, I have to make a decision at that time. Gold. That chest had like uh had a uh like lock pick hanging out of it it totally just fell out when i used it what is this thing is this supposed to be a booby trap hmm interesting use cooking pot <laughs> i highly recommend creating an army with the mod yeah, that would be kind of fun if I could have, like, posse of them. Kind of like in, um, Outer World, the Outer Worlds? The Outer Worlds, I think it was, not the Outer Wilds. Okay, let's see, am I going the right way? Yeah, mostly south, pretty much as south as I can go at this point. <laughs> We're off to see the wizards, the wonderful wizards of Skyrim. We hear they've got gray beards, and we were asked to meet them. Because we are a dragon born, who knows to kill dragons. <laughs> 
got them. Easy Outer Worlds let you have two at a time. Companions have great dialogue. Yeah, that's one thing I remember too when I was playing Outer Worlds is the dialogues were like really, in they did a really good job building compelling characters. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty. Like, shockingly pretty for an old, such an old game. I know I have mods on that help, but they're not changing anything about the world itself. They're just updating some textures and things, is my understanding. One of my companions leave me in Outer Worlds when I agreed to murder an entire town. Yeah, and they actually have a moral compass, and they won't just follow you no matter what. Before I do something drastic, she doesn't have the scar. What? Oh, you're right. She's made a mistake. Now move along before that mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Next time you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. Yeah. Jeez, guys. Foreigners. What a nuisance. No kidding. They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They just wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. Hmm. I don't know if I want to help those guys that were asking me to find the Red Guard woman. Did I go up there? There's just so many things I want to... So enemies, companions can die, but enemies usually start stop it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So most of the time they won't die. But if something real bad gets them. Or if I accidentally smack them. Because I have been known to do that once in a while. Pilgrim's Tomb. Pilgrim's Tomb. I was actually supposed... Oh, level up available. I was actually supposed to go to Pilgrim's Tomb. Okay. I want... I guess two-handed is what I'm using, so I'm going to start getting that a little bit. And... I don't have any more. No, I don't think I have any more. Okay. That's fine. I go quest. Bring to Lucian, speak to the Greybeard. I thought I was supposed to do something at Hilgren's tomb. Hello? Ah! Oh, my kind startled me. Yeah. There's a necromancer around here, so watch yourself. Oh, I've dealt with necromancers. He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Oh. Who's in the tomb? Val's Baron. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him. And he has finally gone off the deep end. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. My aunt went in after him. But she hasn't come out yet. And I don't think I can take him by myself. Hmm. What? Let's go. Great. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. I had reused voice actors so much. Alright. He's gonna unlock the door. We're gonna go get his family back. I want... I want this. I want it. No, I can't have it. Why can't I have that one? I can have the salt, but I can't have the potion. Fine. Every man sounds like the Jarl of Whiterun. Oh. That's interesting. Open. <clears throat> so.
Sometimes you need to go into first person. Oh, okay. Not all, but most. Yeah. Gold in the urn. Gold. It's like rupees and pots in, uh... In, in uh, what's it called? It's Legends of Zelda. You know? Just all these urns. Just full of gold! Probably, like, offerings when people die or something. Oh, you know what I need? I need my blessed warhammer because there's a necromancer in here. So it'll spook them all. Oh, that's a booby trap. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Got him. Always play in first person mode. So it's interesting to see someone use third person. Oh yeah. Whoa, this does a lot of damage. Carrying too much. Darn it. Gold Adira? No, I want Lydia. Lydia, I need you to carry more stuff. I need to trade some things with you. If Lydia dies, I'm gonna lose so much stuff. Weapons. You can take... Oh wait, that's not actually as good. Okay, you can take this. Uh, that. And... You know what? I'm not using that anymore. You may as well take it. I've never used dagger. If she dies, you can just loot her. Yeah, but I won't be able to carry any of it. <laughs> but thank you, Lydia, going, then. for carrying all my stuff. Can I just booch by this now? Garnet gold. Yes, yes. Got my blessed war hammer. Oh, I didn't take that. Okay, I'll take that. I'll give that to Lydia too. I'm right behind you. Need to trade some things. To carry your burdens. Hey, well don't don't sound so upset about it, Lydia. This is an honor. Uh oh. let's get going then. Oh no, I want the blessed one. So can I like Take that blessed thing and can I put it on to a better Warhammer? Somehow? Okay. Unlock. Oh, that was fast. Oh, okay, it's over there somewhere, though. Got it. No problem. Hey, those belong to my family. Oh, right. Fine. I'm sorry. Whatever you want. <laughs> as long as you help me get rid of fouls. I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that this wasn't just, like, a random crypt. And that... You have some attachment to the items in here. Got him. Ooh. Ancient Nord arrows, embalming tools, linen wraps. See, I feel like there's so many little, like, crafting items, and I just don't know no. what's even. Antagna. Oh, Talos. Why didn't I go in with her? While you're mourning, just let me take a look at what she's got on her. See if I want any of it. He's barred the door. Gods only know how he's Never bothered with crafting in this game. Yeah, I feel like it's Agno once told me maybe just a little deeper in, where they buried disgraced members of the family. There's a secret room. Get us into the main chamber. Oh, barred from okay, so we gotta go around. I see. That's just the shortcut back home. That dropper's alive, yep. Good 
got him. Such a big part of the game. How did you get better armor and weapons? Okay, so I should, at some point, mess around with crafting. Loot. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe one day we'll try to do, like, a, a gathering crafting stream. Ancient Nord Warhammer. Bone meal. Gold. Gold. Also mods with the exact armor. Oh, well, that's lame, Kojo. <laughs> You can loot dragon bone and ebony armor weapons. Oh, I can make dragon bone out of, or what armor out of dragon bone. But the armor supported boob physics. Okay, fair enough. I, I accept your argument. No kidding. Hey! This is so OP with the Draugrs. Because they just all scoop. Nord gold. Bow socks. Gold. And gold. Burial urn, gold, stamina. I'm totally, I keep forgetting, I am just totally looting all of your, like, family's possessions. All these offerings were put to your family when they died, and here I am just stealing it all. I'm gonna be rich. If I were a rich man. Da -da 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 Wait. If this is your family's burial, why do you have all these draugers in here? Ugh. Oh, how many picks do I have? 26, okay. Infestation. Hmm. Got it. Nailed it! Gold, soul gem. Visibility. If he has anything more to say about it. Ah! Put a bucket over his head. Hey, guys, stop stepping on that. You saw what happened. Can I put a bucket on his head? How would I do that? Yes. Oh. Ah! Got it. Pick up items without putting them in your inventory. Oh. Interesting. Why did you go underneath there? I want to... Same button as picking things up. But press and hold. Oh, so if I found... Okay, I'll find an item. I'll try it in a minute. What about this? No, you can't search that. This Warhammer I found was, like, the best thing. Just scared the bejesus out of all of them. I think this would be a lot harder if I didn't find... If I didn't find that Warhammer. And it was kind of in, like, a hidden spot. I had to, like, go out of the way. Cold. 
Okay. Okay, let's see. Where's something I can pick up? This looks like the area Agna told me about. She said that the bear would show the way. The bear would... There is a bear. There's a bear right here. And there's a thing to pull. Where's a bucket? <laughs> huh. Okay, well, let's pull the thing, right? Poorly. Oh. That was easy. But we better keep going. Better we? Let's do it, man. What was your name again? Goldier? Golder? Let's go, Golder. Golder and Lydia. Off on another whirlwind adventure. Oh, I can't scare this one. I'm sorry, Golder. I was trying to hit him. Oh, I did scare him, maybe. Gold. find somewhere to buy more lockpicks. Gold, stamina. Okay, I think this I've got a bad main burial chamber where Vals is holed up. Let's get in there and put an end to this. Let's, uh... If Lydia's got a bad feeling about it, let's do a quick save. Okay, place your bets. Will we survive? Iron door open. There you are. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, what? There's more. Oh, he's waking up the same ones. Okay, we gotta go to you. Ow! Sir! Okay. Healing. There he is, there he is. Die, 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 get him, get him, got him. Okay, we just gotta take care of the rest now. Garnet, petty soul. I will leave you. I don't family members. I have things I should see to. But go ahead. Whatever I can to put my family here back to rest. That's a good idea. After that, probably just stick around here. Saw some good game on my way here, and I'd like to stay close for a while. Okay. 
Goodbye. Thanks again for your help. Anytime, man. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Oh wait. Lord War Axe of Frost. Yeah. Crypt key. Have the key. Hide helmet. That's not really apothecary satchel. Va Ooh, a thousand gold. Minor illusion. That's worth a lot. The door is barred from the other side. Darn it. Oh, I thought Galder was leaving me. I thought I finished the quest. And he was just going to hang out with Agnes. But he's still following me around. I guess we just go back? We're off to Skyrim. Skyrim once again. Back to the surface. So we can see the wizard. Interesting. Hmm. Am I doing something wrong? I feel like I'm missing something. But I did get that cool thing, so maybe. Maybe this is just what it is. Ah! Right? Forgot about that. Hopefully you guys are okay. Okay, I think we're... Almost back to the main door. Bar from the other side. Weird. Does it? I wish I told you if a chest was unsearched as well as if it was empty. Because, like, if I've already searched it, even if it's not empty. I don't necessarily want to search it again. But sometimes I see them and I'm like, oh, maybe I just missed it. So I try to search it and then it's just a waste of time. Skyrim. Here to teach you a lesson. Ah! What the? What the heck? Who hired you? Oh my gosh, Lydia. Wow, Lydia just... <laughs> just went full rage mode there. Uh, what difficulty am I playing on? I think it's the normal one. <laughs> uh, is there a way for me to check? General stats. System. Settings. No, I'm not sure. I think just whatever is considered normal is, is I think, what I'm using. Contract? Oh, I can figure out who hired these... these guys. Steel Warhammer. Iron Gauntlets, Iron Boots. Okay, system, settings, gameplay, system, settings, gameplay, adept, is it, I, whatever that is, adept is what I'm playing. Um, I want, I want to read this thing I found, the contract. Book, contract. Here is the agreed upon amount. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request. Teach a lesson to the thief. Alexis the eel. 
You need not kill her, but I have qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Someone's trying to kill me. Is this because of the horse? That I borrowed and returned? This better not be the horse people. I don't know where they live. Okay, I think I still need to keep going south. Go back down here. On the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. That's one angry farmer. Then again, we've seen them towing tanks on the news. <laughs> yeah. It must be a Ukrainian farmer. Freaking badasses. Way cooler than I'll ever be sitting here in my room playing, uh, need a mod for that, for Ukrainian farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Rift in is kind of the way I want to go. It's in this direction, so let's go. Let's do it. So, if I didn't want to get into crafting in this game, would I be able to just, like, find a, an NPC and, like, pay them to craft stuff? Oh, I thought that was Dragon Wing, but it's, uh, it's just a little old flag. Scared the bejesus out of me for a minute there. There's a rule of 34 equivalent for Skyrim mods. What's the rule of 34? I've never heard of that before. If it exists, then there's a born of it. <laughs> is that the rule? Is that the rule 34? Yeah, that probably is. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm with you. If there's a, if it exists, then there's a Skyrim mod for it. And a porn for it. Yeah. You're right. Hey! Get off my bridge! Or a Skyrim porn mod. <laughs> or a combo of the two. Are, is it worth me collecting pelts? Is it is that worth me? Because they're pretty heavy. So are they worth taking? Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. If you want to sell them or use them for crafting. Oh, it's moving my thing again. This is what happens when I go into the chat. It moves my activity feed on Twitch, which is really annoying. Um, well, hopefully my, my automated thing is working and it won't matter. Uh... Nice try. But you don't scare me. Oh. I'm not going to ask You don't again. particularly scare me either. Then I guess that's your last request. Is someone there? Jeez. You didn't even draw a weapon, sir. Amethyst lockpicks, that's good. Studded armor. That's not as good as what I'm using. All right. The value of the item should be ten times the weight. Interesting. So that's just like a good... Uh, okay, I kind of understand that. If the value of the item is ten times the weight, it might be worth the, the work to carry it. Onward to the Greybeards! Here we come. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Get him. Get him, Lydia. Got him. Oh. Ah, can I make this not tell me that every time my magic is low? I don't, because like I'm aware that my magic is going low. Man, there is just all kinds of dangers in the roads of Skyrim. Saber cats and thieves. Look at that waterfall, though. Makes it all worthwhile. Onward to victory. Oh, why did it... Okay, I gotta, I gotta alt tab for a sec, guys, because my chat got messed up, and I want to be able to see what you're saying. I need to, I really need to figure out how to fix that. That's really gonna become a, an annoyance for me. Okay, let's take a look on the map here. We gotta. Oh, wait, we're going the wrong way. We gotta go... West. West. That way. We gotta go total. How are we gonna get up there? Um, okay. West. Maybe we go back up to that tomb and just try to keep going. Maybe we were going the right way. We took that detour. We got it. Can we just go up here? Can we just mountain climb? I'm a Billy Goat. Papa. Let's just try it. Let's Billy go with this stuff. No, I don't think I can. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, I found a road. Progress. Yeah, this will work. We found a road. We could call this Switchback Mountain. On the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah, this will work perfect. Oh, what's up here, though? I think... You need to have a certain amount of attention span to actually make any progress in this game. I suspect that there's a decent chance I will take a very long time to finish this game. The music is also just like primo. They do a really good job, I feel, of setting the mood as is the way. Yeah. Welcome to our home. That's the Greybeards. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, We've been waiting for you to come and grace our presence. Hello? Sir. Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding this far flung end of the Empire? 
anyway. I told you, it's the wedding of Victoria Beachy, an extremely well-connected merchant with the East Empire Company. Emperor's cousin, remember? Hmm. Hopefully these gifts will put us in her good graces. So Alex says I have a level up. And lead the way. Let's do it. I want stamina. A lot more two-handed. I'm gonna lean into the two-handed for a little while. Ah! 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 Got him. Oh. On the road again. Here we go. We're almost to the Greybeards, I think. Let's see. Yeah. You know, we're getting close. Looks like we're going the right way. The graybeard's home we go. Da 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 da. Some Indian. Ah. What are you? Troll? Ah. Uh, Shivvimidum. Seba. Fire is very inefficient, very efficient against trolls. Oh, good tip, Seba. Thanks for hanging out, by the way. First time chatter. Good to see you. Chivermendium. Well, that's 70. That's a lot more than the 10 times. Stormcloak helmet. Oh, that's the people they want me to join. They're like the... The, re the rebels. Fire's very efficient. Okay, that's good to know. Because I have a couple spells that I can use. I just picked up. Where is it? Books? Chivamendium. Should we read this book? About, about heavy armor, apparently. After many battles, it was clear who would win the war. The Chimmer had a, had great skills in magic and bladery, but against the armored battalions of the Dwemer, clad in the finest shielding wrought by Jnago, there was little hope of ever winning. In the interest of keeping some measure of peace in the land, Sthosin, the warlord, agreed to truce with Karkrinthil. This is the hard part about reading these, is the names. Oh my gosh, the names are so hard. There is Nern Root nearby. Okay, I'm going to read this story and then we'll talk about what Nern Root is for the uninitiated among us, aka me. <laughs> uh, a truce with Karen Phil, Bareth the Beast. In exchange for the disputed lands, Thothan gave Bareth a mighty golem, which would protect the Chimer's territory from excursions of the northern barbarians. Bareth was delighted with his gift and brought it back to camp, where all his warriors gaped in awe. Gaped in awe? It's a weird phrasing. <laughs> uh, sparkling gold in hue, it resembled a Dwemer cavalier with a proud aspect. To test its strength, they placed the golem in the center of an arena and flung magical bolts of lightning at it. Its agility was such that a few of the bolts struck it. It had the wherewithal to pivot on its hips and avoid the brunt of the attacks without losing its balance. Feet firmly planted on the ground. A vault of fireballs followed, which the golem ab ably dodged. 
bending to its knees, its legs spinning around the blasts. The few times it was struck, it made certain to be hit in the chest and waist, the strongest parts of its body. The troops cheered at the sight of such an agile and powerful creation. With it leading the defense, the barbarians of Skyrim would never again successfully raid their villages. They named it the Shivermendium, the Hope of the Chimmer. The Bariff has the golem brought to his chambers with all house thanes. There they tested the Shivermendium further, its strength, its speed, its resiliency. They could find no flaw with its design. Imagine when the naked barbarians first meet on one of the raids, laughed one of the house thanes. It is only unfortunate that it resembles the Dwemer instead of one of our own, mused Karen Phil Bariff. It's revolting to think that they will have a great respect for our other enemies than us. I think we should never accepted the peace in terms that we did. There's a lot of typos in these books too. I think we should never accepted the peace terms. I think we should never have accepted the peace terms that we did, said another. One of the most aggressive of the house thanes. Is it too late to surprise the warlord with an attack? It is never too late. An attack said to attack, said Bareth. But what is his great armored warriors? I understand. Books would have been copied by hand. Yeah, I suppose that's a fair argument. Uh, said the bear spy master that his soldiers always wake at dawn. If we strike an hour, an hour before, we can catch them defenseless before they've had a chance to bathe, let alone do their armor. If we capture their armor or Gnago, then we wouldn't know the secrets of the blacksmithery, said Bera. Let it be done. We attack tomorrow, an hour before dawn. So it was settled. The Chimmer army marched at night and swarmed onto the Dwemer camp. They were relying on the Shivermendium to lead the first wave, but it malfunctioned and it began attacking the Chimmer's own troops. Added to that, the Dwemer were fully armored, well-rested, and eager for battle. The surprise was turned and most of the high-ranking Chimmer, including Kerkenthal's Bareth, the beasts, were captured. Though they were too proud to ask, Tholuzen explained to them that he had been warned by, of their attack by calling on one of his own men. What man of these yours is on camps near Bareth? Shiver met him standing erect by the side of the captured, removed his head within his metal body, Gnego, the armorer. A Dwemer child of eight can create a golem, but he explained, only a true great warrior and armorer can pretend to be one. Hmm. Cool. Oh wait, I think there was another thing I wanted to read that we just picked up. It was like a note or something? Note. There have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river. This must be the river. We could use some civilian support in that area for the war effort, so send a few men to investigate. Probably just a couple of wolves. You'll need to spend at most two men. Oh, so these guys got deaded because there was a troll. Well, at least we could help. Is that you coughing, Lydia? Don't be coughing. And Nern Root. Okojo, you were talking about Nern Root? Is that something I should get? Or is it just kind of a fun fact? That was the ringing sound. Oh, I thought that was probably the elder, the, the graybeards, the people we're going to see. I'm just assuming they have bells because they know I was coming. Seba, it's pretty useless. Oh, okay. So it's not really worth investigating right now. I should stick with stick with trying to get to the Greybeards and like progress the story a little bit. Okay. It's an iconic plant, but you usually ignore it. Okay. Well, one day, maybe on the way back, we'll check it out. Go see what it looks like. And like lick it or something if I can do that just for the halibut right I was trying to think of a pun involving nern or nern root but couldn't do it will you guys attack me probably oh no this is like a town Eversted think twice oh I will I am currently thinking twice about that in my own life. Use the wood chopping block. I don't have an axe. Okay. Well, I tried to help. 
tried to do some wood cutting for you guys, but don't have an axe, so. Where? Oh, they're up there now? Let's look at the map. What? I thought our destination was here this whole time. Do I have to talk? Okay, wait, let's take a look at the quest. Maybe... Speak to the Greybeards. Oh, was I going the wrong way, you guys? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll hang, we'll check out this place. Let's see if we can sell stuff. Because we got tons of crap. Maybe we can buy something, although this seems like kind of a dump. Limex House. Well, if you find a bridge there, there's stairs. Oh, I just saw the bridge a minute ago. Okay. The Valmer Inn. I'm going to see if I can find someone to buy anything from me. And then, uh, and then I'll do that. Will you sell and buy stuff? We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar. I think that's where I'm going. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Haunted. Um. Anything you can tell the me. Grey beards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. Oh. And if I say, what have you got for sale? I'm hoping that I can sell stuff as well. Oh, but I can only sell food and ingredients. Well, I never really use any of this. So I may as well get rid of that. Beautiful. You're headed up to the monastery. Watch your step. It's a long way it's down. Long no way kidding. Down. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a blacksmith or anything in this town, so we'll just keep all our stuff. Thankfully, we got Lydia to pack meal for us. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rock. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> what does it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that on? We're about to find out altogether what the return of the Dragonborn means. I am but a humble pilgrim. You do not need to worship me. Read. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice. They spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and the flood of the, and and flood the land. Hmm. Couple of tough enemies. Oh, okay, good tip. Thanks, Seba. Got him. I'll just leave that. We are climbing the stone stairs. Up to the Greybeard's castle, monastery, thing, that thing in which they live. Where they disappoint pilgrims day in and day out. Hoping not to be one of many disappointed. We keep climbing the stairs. Brandishing our battle axe. Lest an enemy come to dead us. Unalive us. Oh. 
Hello there, Barknar. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I will. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. No, oh, that makes sense. Do you know the graybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Okay. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Huh. Mm -hmm. Let's read this one. Men were born to spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Let's do, uh, take some advice. Let's do a quick save. What is the difference between a quick save and a save in this game? Is it just like one will take you back there when you die and one will take you back there if you like restart the game? That, that would make sense. No difference. Oh. Quick save always saves over the last quick save. Oh, I see. So I can have many saves, but only one quick save. Got it. Okay, Ice Wolf. Oh, yeah. Hero kill. I like when I get a hero kill. Onward to the Greybeards, I say. Up, up, up the stairs we go. And then it's into the tunnel. Quality Gollum reference there. <laughs> All we need to do is climb the stairs, talk to the Greybeards, and then we will learn about stuff and things. Where's Lydia? Lydia! Lydia! Well, there you are. Come on, Lydia. Keep up. We're going on a journey. Oh, there's another tablet. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Oh, that sounds sad. Hey, hey! Die! Die! Baha! Okay. Quick save? Quick save. Let's do it. Da da da! getting blustery getting hard to see through all this snow wonder if this goat is useful to kill Probably not. There's a bear claw. Does that mean I'm about to have to fight a bear? On my tracker? Like on my compass thing? I don't... Uh, that's just a goat. Oh, yes. Another tablet. This man is topless. Oh no, he's not. It's Keep an a girl. eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Everyone keeps telling me that. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Hmm. Seems like a lot of people make this trip right, pretty then. regularly. Kind called. Arthur Knox, who pitied, pitied man, 
Together they taught men to use the voice. Then the dragon war raged, and the dragon against tongue. By the way, you can kill the other pilgrims with no consequences, but they're so wholesome. They're just here to... Just hanging out, having a little sit, a little sit by the... <laughs> by the emblems? I don't want to kill them. Unless they have gold. Are they rich? Are they rich pilgrims? Because if they're rich pilgrims, then it might be worth my time. Just smack them in the booty. Let's go! Leroy Jenkins! Oh, there's a troll. There's a troll. Okay, he's on the way. Let's, uh, oh, let's be smart. Tip save right there. Oh, no. A save right, okay. Uh, will it let me save? Yeah, it will. Ah, oh, I hit Lydia. Thanks for the tip, Seba. Oh, no. Uh, uh, oh, he's Frost. He's Frost. So, okay, we're going to go quick. Uh, Astria, welcome in. Uh, we are not losing, necessarily. Flames. He's Frost, so we're going to use Flames, and it's going to be awesome, I bet. Flame! Flame him! Flame on! Small burst of fire spells are more efficient. Why won't my fire work? Flame. Flame. Magic. Destruction. Flames. It's equipped. Uh. Shouts. Oh, I forget how to use the shouts. I don't want to punch him. I don't want to punch him. Oh, it's a good thing you gave me that tip to save, Seba. Oh, yeah. Why wasn't my spells working? Oh, oh we're, we're in it. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Magic. Destruction. Must construct. You must construct additional pylons. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a pylon is. Oh, now it's working. Let's do it, Lydia. Ah! Uh, have it in both hands. Oh. I can double it up. Oh, okay, that's not the way. That's not the way. Have it in both hands. I can double magic. Okay. Powers, command, animal, active effects. I should just, I'm just gonna try flames in both. Yes. Yes, Seba, this is the way. Thank you. Ah. Stay away, sir. Sir. Don't hate, hey, sir. Oh wait, I have I have oceans. Magica. Magica. That one. That one. That one. Oh yes. Go team. Troll fat, why not? Okay, quick save. <laughs> this is some like, it's been a long time since I played a game where I've done saves just all the time. They're just big boned. Try using a resurrection spell. A resurrection spell. Magic. 
restoration shouts candlelight flames I don't think I have a resurrection spell someone someone using potions for something other than collecting them you might need them but never will I <laughs> never thought I'd see the day. I use potions sometimes, especially in games like this one where it pauses when you go into the menu because I panic lots and I go into the menu and then I remember things like, oh, wait, I have potions. Ray zombie. Oh, this one? Let's try it. I'm going to stand near him. Oh. Troll is too powerful. Oh. Okay, well, we tried. That's cool, though. So if I kill something that's less powerful, I can... I can bring him to life. Bring them to life. Pretty sure it's too weak. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a cool thing to know about, though. Man prevailed, shouting, Alduin! Out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were many-fold. So many things to learn about in this game. Could I ever resurrect a dragon, or is that just always going to be impossible? That would be so cool to have a zombie dragon by your side. Skyrim is mine now. I'm the last dragon rider. That's what I would say if I had a zombie dragon on my team. And everyone would fear me. It's going dark. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer. Founding the first empire with sword and voice. Whilst the, dun whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. At some point, you'll get a shout that can summon a dead dragon. No way. The spiffing Brit did a necro run. It was rude. Don't know if you can have a zombie dragon, but there's a mod that allows you to ride dragons. Wow. Yeah, we were talking earlier about... Oh, no, that's Kev. I thought that was Seba for a sec. Spiffing Brit. What's a necro run, Astria? Is that like you can only... You never attack anything. You only respawn dead things to attack for you. It's not a mod. Oh. Cool. This way. Going to see the Greybeards. It's the bend will shout. He has giants and mammoths and many of them. Oh. Ooh. I'll get it. Okay, cool. I'm excited for that. That'll be really fun. We're here. This has got to be it. Hi, Rothgar. Oh, we can steal from them right away. Oh, it's empty. Why would they just keep an empty chest out here? There's also some standing, standing tome ability. Oh, huh, cool. I'm here, I'm here. You called me and I came. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Taste it? Uh, how do I do it again? This? Strike us with the power no. of your voice. Uh, this? No, no, that's wrong. Uh, uh, hey, hold on. We're gonna, uh, 
Controls. Shout, shout, shout. Zed? Zed, let's try that. Ha! Thanks, Seba. Welcome to High Rothgar. Oh, thank you for welcoming me. I am Master Angi. Master I speak Angi. For the Gravelands. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I don't know. You you called me. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Rothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Thank you. I appreciate that. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Oh. I get to decide my destiny. My game is in my own hands. Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Void. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Hmm. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Strive to achieve balance. Digging down my mine shaft. You ran into a geode. Oh, nice. That's Minecraft, I think, right? Uh, I want to find out what it means. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Those are the dragon blood? I haven't even heard about them. You are not the first. Oh, are the other dragon There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. Mm. That is all I can say. Okay, I'm ready to learn. Teach me. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Probably not. That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn the words of power. Mm. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, Whoa. the second word in unrelenting force. Mm. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Okay. Go. Oh, this is it. This is the word. I gotta look at it. Ooh. Balance, unrelenting force. Of course I have the gift. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Give me all that knowledge, Einarth. Let me suck it up. Learned it. Master the new Thune. Demonstrate your unrelenting, your force. unrelenting force. Okay. It's in magic. Shouts. Oh, I've already got it. Okay. Note to strike the targets as they appear. Strike the targets. Ah! Ah! Got him. Use both words if you can. Oh, E? Use both Fus and Ro. Together they will make the shouts more powerful. Magic shouts. Voice is hold. Oh, hold it to make. Ah, okay, thanks, guys. 
Well, who's well? I got it now. Where is it? Well done. I'll get again. Ah. I understand now. Again, give me another one. I can do it. I can do it, coach. Put me in. Whoa. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. Thank you. Show great promise, Dragon. <laughs> I know. I was born this way. Form your next trial in the courtyard. Okay. Follow Master Bori. Master Bori. Uh, this one. Now I can walk. I figured out how to. <laughs> Hashtag born with it. Oh, you know it! Baby, I'm beautiful in my way cause I was born this way. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born. Did they say born this way that much in that song? Probably. That's what it's called. Hi, Hrothgar Courtyard. Oh, Lydia. <laughs> what you doing, girl? Uh. We're going to the courtyard, going on a trip. We're going to the courtyard. See how you learn a completely new shot. Master okay. Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood. 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 Get the way, buddy. I'm ready. I'm ready to receive. Thank you. Whirlwind shout. So is this a different shout? Or is this just I have to hold it longer? Oh no, whirlwind. Okay. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Alright. Demonstrate away, Wolfgar. Whoa! Now your turn. Stand okay. next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass. I don't like the button that is mapped to. Open away. I'm ready. Stand next to me and prepare your whirlwind sprint. It's prepared. Master Bori will give the signal. I'm ready. Stand next to me and prepare. Lydia's in my way a little bit, but I did it. <laughs> did I do it? Does that count? Okay, I think I did it. I think that counts. Thanks, guys. Your quick mastery of a new thune is. Uh... Astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You're given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. Hmm, okay. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustangrad. Huh. Remain true to the way of the voice. We will return. Why are the dragons returning? No doubt the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Okay. I will. Thank you. I will continue training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. That's my plan. Uh, why are 
a shout. There are only four of you. Our leader, Patanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Okay. I'll speak to him one day. Oh, I messed up my... Mm. I don't know what it is about this game when it goes into the text and I scroll. It messes up all my chats and stuff, so I'm going to have to pull out for a sec. Wind, Wind will right. guide me. Good. I'm going to have to pull out for a sec here and uh, fix my fix my chat so I can see if you guys are talking to me. Sorry about that. I think we're back. We're back, baby. All right. So what I want to do actually really quick, though, is I want to go to controls. And I want to set my... I want to put my shouts on my mouse. Shouts. Shout or power. Yeah, that one. I think so. Yeah, that's better. Doing it that way. Yeah, so it takes a while to recharge. Got it. Oh, this is where the guy is. I can't go up there yet. No, I, it's okay. I don't think I can make it up there yet. That's where their, uh, the boss graybeard is, I think. Well, maybe not boss. It's probably not the right way to say it, but... That's where the other graybeard he was just talking about is. Go check out High Hrothgar again. Oh, Lydia. Always right in frame when I... So I've got my voice a little bit now, and it's up to me what to do with it. We could read more books, but I don't want too much of my stream to be reading, you know? Because, like, some people are interested in that, but definitely others are not so interested in it. But it is kind of fun. Hmm. Wow, e. That's going to be useful for getting away and stuff. save a bunch of books and do a stream where you're only reading but i don't know how because most of them you can't pick up most of them you can only read them on the desk so you have to like actually go find them in the world to to read them um oh my gosh it's snowing like really snowing where i live it's been it's been like in the mid tens of degrees, like 10 to 15 degrees. And it's like actually snowing again. If you want, you can train your stealth and archery by using effect, the effects bound bow, sneaking behind iron gear and shooting him while I'm undetected. Oh, I can't kill him though, right? Your sisters keep sending you pictures of the weather. Yeah, I did not expect snow today. Well, that's not really true. It told me it was going to snow today online, but I didn't believe it. I was stubborn. Also, I think it's time we start our stream snacks for today. We've got uh, Maynard's Tropical. Swedish berries. If you haven't had these, they are amaze balls. Also, my pro tip of the day: if you get these Maynard's packets, bake all the candy to the side of them, and you can peel. You can, hold on now. Now my hands are sweaty because I'm I'm doing this as a performance art now. Okay, hold on here. You can peel, and you can open it all the way across the top, and you get like a nice huge opening. It is primo. So, pro tip: if you're ever uh, if you're ever following my lead, trying out these tropical Swedish berries, one of the best gummies in my opinion. That's the way you got to do it. 
you gotta peel, you gotta do sideways and peel all the way across. Okay. Quests. Demonstrating the ability has sent you to a final trial retrieving the horn of a Jurgen Windcaller from the Ustengrav. Okay, so let's check out my map. Where is Ustengrav? Way over here. Okay, so we got some traveling to do to get there. Maybe Morthal is the place to go next. Yeah, and we are up here. I think technically I can fast travel to these places that I've been before, is that right? Like, you cannot fast travel from this location, so I could potentially fast travel to there if I was in a different place, okay. So there are some limits to when you can fast travel. Maybe I just have to be outside. Must be outside. Okay. I think for the sake of not spending, like, too, too long, I'm going to fast travel Dragon's Reach. And then I can walk from Dragon's Reach or run. Oh, I... Dragon's Reach is where I stole that horse, though, and they sent a guard after me, and then I think they tried to have me assassinated. They're really upset that I took that horse. I didn't even mean it. It was an accident. I did it twice, by accident. Okay. I think they also said something about... Am I allowed to have a house? They said I was allowed to have property or something like that. Do I have property already? Oh, I can go to the, um... We can go to the blacksmith that's in this city. They are somewhere. And then... And then we can sell lots of our goods. That's a good idea. The person by the... Oh. You're the one they call Dragonborn. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Fall on deaf ears, deceiver. We know you are the false dragonborn. Oh. You shall not stand in the way of the true dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. Quick save. When Lord Mirak appears, all I don't know if I can. Witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Oh. Time to die. Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. Help me, guards. Come on, die, 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 die. Ooh. Oh, there's more, there's more. Uh, healing. Are you, oh, you're, you're mad at me too? Ah. Who's attacking me even? Healing. Stow weapon. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Stowed. I stowed it. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. What say you in your defense? What do you mean? I didn't commit crimes. I was attacked in the streets. Should I just pay them? Must have hit a guard. Okay, well, fine. That's not really fair. But... Come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Do I have stolen goods on me? Did I lose anything?
Well, how am I supposed to not hit a guard if they're going to attack me if I accidentally have my weapon out because I got mauled in the streets? Like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. you and everybody else, my dude. Trying to be a freak in the sheets, them? Tried being a freak in the sheets, them? Honeycomb. Cultist robes. Ooh. Cultist mask. Those are all worth a lot. What's going on here? Steel arrow. Oh, orders. Perfect. Soul gem. Get those again because those are worth a lot. And we're about to go sell stuff. Are That's you the blacksmith? Out here if you're looking to buy. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's hmm. steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. All you ask is a fair chance, eh? Uh, okay. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Those guys are DLC stuff, FYI. Oh, the cultists? Weapons. Wait, didn't I take the cultists? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Sell. Sell. You'll buy this. Bracers of Deft Hands. Yeah. Belts, hides, belts, keep my lock picks. Used to be your favorite place to craft stuff. Okay. Saber cat pelt, wolf pelt. Not the forge by the companions. Hmm. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It just fell there. Check inside the shop if I need anything. Oh, I got a double berry there. Double gummy. Welcome. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers. What do you got for sale? Blades, Give me helmets, something good. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Weapons. Hunting bow. Eleven. Hmm. Iron Battle Axe. Dagger of Draining. Steel Arrows, I want those. I've already got a Steel War. Wait, damage 33. Oh no, that's not better than mine, okay. Carol. Hide boots of sneaking. Three thousand dollars. Buy by the Companions Guild. Hmm. Good doing business with you. You too, man. I enjoyed it. I work for Bellacor at the General Goods Store. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a quick BRB. Actually, I gotta go rest in a room. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, switch to my B-rate back, and I'll be back in just a hot second here.
back here. Let me just get you guys set up again. Uh, live scene. Get back into game. Excellent. Leather shop at the market. Huh. There's just so much information coming at you all the time in this game. So, what was I supposed... Okay, what I need to do... I need to trade some things with you. I want to take... All of your stuff, Lydia. I want this. This. Which one's the best thing that you have? Probably this one, since you're holding it, hey? That. That. Oh, no. Use the Warhammer, Lydia. Jeez. Iron Helmet. I'll let you keep that. You're obviously not using that. You're not using that. I can go sell all of this. Lead on. Found that one more convenient since it's more cute closer to the house. Got some good I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Looking what do you to got protect for sale? yourself or deal some damage. Okay, so I want my stuff. I want to sell this. I want to sell that. That. Really just don't want to get rid of all this stuff. That one. Speed of Warhammer. I'm keeping that. Apparel. Sell that. Mm -hmm. Items. Yeah, I'm pretty light now. Got some room to carry stuff that we find along the way. Amazing. Now we're we gotta get to that place, that tomb. So let's let's hit the road. Hit the road, Ooh, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. <laughs> so we gotta go pretty much north. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen the Windcaller. We're coming, Jurgen. Coming to retrieve your horn. As it were. He must be a horny guy. Am I right? Probably not. Probably wrong about that one, but, you know, he does have a horn. And he calls the wind. So, level up available. Oh! Man, you get to level up a lot in this game, eh? I want health. I want two-handed. I'm just going to keep doing two-handed for a bit. Champion stance. Attacks with war hammers. Ignore 25% of armor. Attacks with great swords. Power attacks. I never do a power attack because I always forget. <laughs> Limb splitter. Attacks with battle axe. Okay, so we're going to go skull crusher and get that. And that's all I can do right now, I think. Perfect. We're off. We are not off to see the wizard this time. We're off to see a horny, horny wind, wind man, wind person. A horny windy boy, a windy horn boy. 
Oh, there's a big fire over there. That's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Is it, is it worth my time to like try to stay on the roads or travel around the world the way they seem like maybe they intend? Or should I literally just go cross country all the time like I've been doing? Six one half dozen the other is my guess, but maybe there's a, maybe there's like, you know, oh, hello. Thank you, Lydia. Yeah, I'll take that. Roads have bandits. Cross country is the way to go. Okay, that's good to know. But if I go on the roads, because there's like bandits in those towers and stuff, will I unlock fast travel places if I clear out, clear them out? Because I think I did unlock some fast. There's giant crabs there. Let's go check those out. Only time for roads is going up to High Hrothgar for the first time. Oh, okay. So I'm already done with roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. You thought it was the future, but it's Skyrim. Go smack a crab. Smack a crab! Got him. Since you're pretty low level, then watch out for the area around Ripton. Lots of bears, spriggans, and saber -teeth tag saber-toothed taggers. Oh, okay. Good tip. Appreciate that. Let's go find the windy boy. I hear wolves. Where are they? There they are. Come and get me. Got him. Oh, yeah. There's actually an insane amount of lore and theory around mud crabs. Huh. Interesting. So, it tells me a value of items when I pick them up, but the shops never offer me that value. Is there ever a way that I can get that value, or is it just kind of like I'm... Oh my gosh! Uh, did you guys see that? That deer was floating like a mile in the sky. And just fell straight down. If you guys are... I don't even know how clips work. If you're able to clip that, please do it. I would appreciate it. I think it might be restricted though, so you might not be able to. Maybe you have to be a subscriber, which I can't even have. Two-handed increase to 35. You can give them a monocle and a top hat? You can give what? Mud crabs a monocle and a top hat? That sounds amazing. That sounds like something worth doing. Let's go see the windy boy and get his horn. You have a background recording. Um, no, I don't think so. It's restricted for you? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll look into my... Oh, no. I'll look into my Twitch settings and try to make it so that any, any follower maybe can do clips. Bear claws, bear pelt, amethyst ring. Don't mind if I do. Okay, thanks for letting me know, guys. Pretty birds up there. Oh, there's a big hole in the ground. There's just so much interesting stuff in this game. Bullen, Vulnrud discovered. Gold, minor healing, steel warhammer. If I can carry it, it's probably worth it so I can sell it. Give it to Lydia to hold on to. She won't mind at all. She'll only complain a little bit. Stamina, Garnet Ring. I need to find someone who will buy all these rings at one point. Hmm. Is the texture broken on this chest? It kind of looks like it. 
somewhere. Woolen Rude. It's open. We're going in. Iron helmet. Yeah, don't need it. No, it ah! That skeleton just took his time getting up, but when he did, spooked me. Poop came out. Lydia, don't. Okay, Jesus. Oh, wait. I can use my last war hammer. Subtitles when it's just like an onomatopoeia are really weird. Draugr or white, as opposed to a black draugr, because that would be racist. Draugr. What's a white? Does that mean like uh, like a magician? Draugr magician. Take Ancient Nord Helmet. Huh. Take Skull. I don't really want a Skull. Doesn't seem useful to me. Iron Door. Ah! Ah! Ah, uh, hello! Got him. No problem. Gold. Gotta get all the gold. Hopefully gold doesn't weigh anything. That would be really irritating if it does. Gold. Not worth carrying that. Too heavy. Take ceremonial sword. Damage. It's not really good though. Do I even want that? Items, weapons, ceremonial sword. No, I don't. I don't actually. Quest item. Oh, it's a quest item. Oh, okay. I'll keep it then. I'll do the ceremony. Why not? Oh, that's gonna be really annoying if if I left here now. Oh, did my mic just totally peek out? Felt like maybe it did. It just turned all red. Did you guys get a weird audio effect right now? Because I've been sitting forward a bit. So I might be peeking my mic a little bit once in a while. Let me know. Let me know if, if something uncomfortable is happening in my audio and I'll turn the gain down a little bit. Okay, so I have a quest item. So I have to do the quest now because Otherwise, I have to carry this stupid sword forever. Go this way. We can find it. Mm. No, this is where we came from. We gotta keep going deeper. We need to delve deeper into the dungeon in order to... Pickaxe. I don't need a pickaxe. In order to solve the quest. To complete the ceremony, you will need the sword and the bones of... Okay, now I'm back over here. 
Oh, jeez, that scared me. Oh, 27 followers. Oh, okay, I've got to... Sorry, guys, my activity feed's messed up. Just let me... Let me... Let me alt tab to fix my activity feed so I can see Frothgar. Thank you for the follow, my man or lady or otherwise. I hope you're enjoying your time. Thanks for hanging out. Why am I walking so slow? Did I get too heavy? Or did I? No, I didn't hit caps lock. Uh, items. Oh, I'm not too heavy. Why am I? Okay, come on. Put this away. Why are you walking? Oh, somehow I swapped it. Okay, that's fine. Rothgar, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm having fun with this. This is our my first playthrough of Skyrim. Okay, there's been a lot of people who I I haven't had viewing before. Uh, Frog Thor, I'm sorry. This has been my first... This is going to be my first full playthrough. I'm going to finish the game this time. I promise you that. Uh, I have started Skyrim before. And basically within about 10 hours, so probably right around the point I'm at now, I hit like total game breaking bug or at least what felt like at the time a totally game breaking bug what happened was i was in some city and i killed a guard in in a house because i stole something and he went hey don't steal that and so i thought okay i'll just kill him and move on so i killed him but that triggered an event where another guard would come into the building looking for the for the crime that just happened so so i killed the guard another guard came in i killed him okay now it's got to be done right but then another guard came in and i killed him and then this just kept happening and then at one point i said no no okay i'll hide so i hid a guard came in looked around and then left and i went okay perfect we can keep going but the next quest that i had to do i had to help the police chief the the guard city guard um and he was being attacked. I was supposed to help him win this battle and he was gonna give me my quest. And so I walked up and I helped him with the battle and he looked at me and he said, you've committed crimes, you've killed guards. And he one-shotted me with this massive ax. And then I went, okay, new approach. If I can get the quest to start, then, then it'll be fine. So I went far away on like a cliff near where he was attacking these guys and I and I arrowed them dead so that I had done the thing I was supposed to do. I helped him and I walked up and he instantly killed me. So I tried it one more time where I killed the guys with arrows. Or no, after he killed me, I could hear when on the death screen, I could hear the quest dialogue start. He was like, thank you for helping me, blah, blah, blah. So I did it again. I killed them from far away. And then I got just close enough to him that he started to see me and then I ran away. And while I was running away from him, I could hear him saying, thank you for helping me. I need you to do this quest, blah, blah, blah. And then I stopped and he killed me. <laughs> and and I kind of, at that point, was just frustrated. I'd spent like an hour trying to progress through that one little spot. And so I just, I bailed on it. And and here I am, this is me trying again because I've heard only, only love for this game. And I wanna be, I wanna be the person who spreads the love and not the hate, you know? I want I want to love this game. Ah. It's a weird noise. So, I'm hoping that uh, this playthrough will make me spread the love, you know? Anyway, that's my story. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. I think that was the point of me saying all that. Okay. I am stuck. Can I look at my quest? Because it said I can't get rid of quest items read the cultist order oh I have to do that still retrieve the horn because it told me I can't get rid of the ceremonial sword because it's a quest item so obviously I'm supposed to do something with it but I can't figure out what the ceremony is it feels like this feels like a ceremonial place. Do I oh do I have to equip the ceremonial sword maybe? Let's see. Weapons. Ceremonial sword. Take the skull. No. 
Okay, let's see. Can I... Can I... Oh, search drawer. Oh, no, I... I didn't want to pick that up. Weapons. Ancient Nord Battle Axe. No, I want to drop that. And I want to equip the ceremonial sword. This is where I got the ceremonial sword from. Oh, 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 sorry, dude. Just... Just chopped his hand off. Ceremony. Begin! Uh, okay. Well. That's not where the ceremony happens. Huh. Okay, well I might have to give up on this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the ceremonial sword. Unless anyone else has an idea, uh, anyone in chat has an idea what ceremony I'm supposed to have. Oh, shoot. Oh, Lydia. You, I just did that. You should have known that that was going to happen, Lydia. Come on. Should have seen it happen to me. Lydia, did you just do it again? Jeez, woman. You trying to get killed? If she actually died... <laughs> if she actually died from walking into a trap repeatedly, I would be so annoyed. Whoa. Something just launched me. Oh, this way. There's a cool door this way. This has to be it. Open. Okay, let's get my uh, blessed iron warhammer. Always the way to go when there's droggers near. Get up, buddy. Weapon recharge. Your weapon has been drained of charges. You guys have been talking about this. Select it in your inventory. And hit... T sele select it in your inventory. Select a filled soul gem and use... E to confirm. Okay, so I'm gonna go... Items. Weapons. I want my blast. I'm gonna go T. Okay, so it takes one common. I'm gonna use a petty one. And I'll do it again with another petty one. Aha! I understand. Oh, another one. Gold. Okay, get over here, you. There we go. Got him. Oh, I really need to figure out what's wrong with my oak flesh. What's wrong with my, um, with this game interacting with my OBS? I've got my, uh, my activity feed all messed up again, and I apologize so much if I'm missing anything. I appreciate everybody. Lurkers, chatters, followers, not followers. You're all amazing. Love you. Okay. Let's... Oh, we're here. This looks... This looks penultimate. Oh! oh, oh. Draugr's Scourge. This is doing no damage. Ah! Run. Run away, Lydia. Okay, let's kill this guy. Okay. Oh, that's Lydia. Don't kill. Oh, I just freaking just about killed you, Lydia. Broda. Okay, let's uh, let's equip our Roda shout. We can we can unrelenting force back at him. Okay, 
Okay, Lydia, attack him. Please help. Oh! This is tough. I don't know how we're gonna do this. This guy's like immensely strong. How far back am I? I'm all the way back at the beginning. I didn't save even once. Hmm. Okay. Cat, tell me if you think this is worth my time or if you think I'm going to be able to do it. I think I'm going to bail on this one. I think... I think this one's too hard for us right now. I think we're too low level, maybe? I want to come back to it. Unless someone says, no, no, if you do it, it's going to be worth it. You're going to love it. There's a shovel. Is that useful? Probably not. Okay. I'm not seeing anyone saying, no, no, you have to do it because it's going to be so worth your time. So I'm just going to leave because I don't... I don't see myself beating that guy. He was so... Like, I was doing tiny fractions of damage every time I hit him. Which really sucks. But, you know, we'll get it. Okay, we gotta go talk to the wind, the horny wind man. That's, we're still on the track, we're still on the course to go to the horny wind man. There's a dragon head on the compass. I'm concerned that means I'm going to run into a dragon. But, hopefully not. If we're very lucky, we won't run into a dragon, and it won't be a problem. What is this? That's a fox. I don't think he'll attack me. Can I get harvest snowberries? Sure. Oh, it's like an altar. Hmm. Well. Let us explore to the horny wind man to find the horn of Jurgen. Ah, uh, oh, hello, bandits. Okay, that's fine. Gold lockpick, necklace of smithing. Steel Battle Axe. Steel Battle Axe sounds pretty good, actually. Should I take that? Is it worth having a Battle Axe and a Warhammer? Eh, probably not. Yeah, I've got the Warhammer already. That's been working pretty well for me. And I've been upping my levels in Warhammer, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, those of you in chat who know me personally, remind me, I want to, I have a chat bot that I've been playing with. You might have noticed it here and there. Um, I want to try to update it so that it'll also say things to people who follow or subscribe or anything while I'm playing, in case I ever miss it. So if you remember and we're chatting offline, remind me that that's something I want to work on. I think that would be a big, a big help. I also want to get something that... Like, puts it on my screen, you know? Like, when streamers have, like, confetti, you follow, thank you, and it, like, makes a noise. I want that in my life, but I can't figure out how to do it. If anyone knows, has a good tool or something they would use, I started using something called Stream... Not Stream Labs. Uh, it's in chat somewhere. It'll come up at some point, uh, and then I'll, I'll remember it, but... I thought it was a pretty cool. I saw it on someone else's stream, actually, that I was watching yesterday. Madame Meeks. Go check her out. She was pretty cool. I dropped her a follow yesterday. She was playing Valheim. Excellent game. Oh, yeah. Got him. Okay. Let's put this hammer away. 
Where do these stairs go? Oh my gosh, look at that! It's like a golem creature. Let's go check it out. Shrine of Methan just Dragon Ruins Discovered. Did it just say Dragon Ruins Discovered? Hello, sir. Okay, well, I will enter through your unlock requires key. Cannot be picked. Oh, okay, so I can't go in there anyway. That's fine. Onward. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's 11.20 already. Man, this has been such a good stream. I've been having so much fun today. Meth Methrune's dragon was the antagonist of ES4. What is ES4, Okojo? ES4. Elder, oh, Elder Scrolls 4. Right, because this is Elder Scrolls 5, so the last game. Ah, oh, Corundium Orvain. So, I, did we agree it's not really worth my time to mine and stuff like that? Like I should just carry on and buy everything or something? Dim Hollow Crypt. Not at this point, okay. Hmm. Should I go into the crypt? What do we think? I feel like every time I see anything, I'm just like, ooh, I could do that. If you buy one of the fancy house and you have to build, then maybe. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to buy a house. I think it would be cool to have a house. Depends on how you want to approach crafting. Okay. I don't know how I want to approach crafting is the problem that I think we're having, but you know, we'll figure it out together as a team. I got I got my my Skyrim pros here and I'm really happy about that cuz you guys have a lot better ideas than me. Wolves. Come here. Let me smack your booty. Got him. Got him. Stream elements, that's what it was called. See, I got this bot that, you know, says thanks to you guys once in a while. Tells you how much I appreciate you. Frogthor, the house you can build is the one you buy from Valkreath and Morthal. Morthal's a place, so I'm assuming Bulk Wreath is also a place. Thanks for that, Frog Thor. Bulk Wreath and Morthal. Okay. There's a third one as well. Interesting. Could I buy all three? Can I just like be a housey boy? Like get, be a real estate landlord in Skyrim? Can I rent them to villagers? Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy all three. That's our one of our goals. For this world, we're gonna buy all three houses and get married and have kids. Can you really do that? If we can do that, we should. Yes? Oh my god. Okay. How did I not know? So, I knew this was a big game. People were like, oh, I spent, you know, hundreds of hours playing it. It's a big game. You're gonna love it. How did I not know you could do all this stuff? There are other houses that you don't have to build. Oh, so sometimes you have to build the house? You can't just get it? Another, there's a house in each big city. Oh. Oh, no, I don't want to go out. I want to figure out this crypt. I want to figure out the puzzle that you can buy. Okay, good to know. We're going to do some house shopping soon. I'm In real life, I'm, I'm getting a house, guys. I'm super excited about it. End of May, we're moving house into the townhouse that we bought. 
it's gonna be amazing. And we could we could time it to get I can't find anything in here. To get a house in Skyrim on the same day. Uh what do you guys think? Am I missing something? Is there something to do in here? Or is this just like a a room with a bunch of wolves and that's all? Congrats, yeah, thanks, Kev. Yeah, I don't know who knows. Some some people in the chat know, some people definitely don't. We got some new people here, which is amazing. Loving to see that. I feel like it's gotta be down, right? It's a crypt, but we haven't even seen like a Draugr or anything. It said it was a crypt. This is where the first vampire quest line quest is. So if I haven't initiated the quest line, uh, it, does, it doesn't do anything, hey? Is that right? Okay, yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll go out. We'll go back out to Skyrim. So it's use okay, useless until then. Good to know. Thanks, Frogthor. Okay, that's good to know that if I because I was thinking every crypt I went into was gonna always be Huh? What? Was gonna always be something useful. So it's good to know that if if it just doesn't seem like there's anything, it's probably because there isn't. And not because of any other reason. I think you get invited around level 20 or 25. Okay, so we got a while yet before we could even handle that anyway. Probably why we had to bail out of the last one we were in, too. Let's go. There's a bear this way. There's a bear claw, at least. Oh, they found me. Come here, bandits. Ye wary travelers. <laughs> Come on, Lydia, help me. This guy's a... He's a big old meanie. Hey, why did you get up? You were dead. Gold, iron warhammer, don't need that. Gold lockpick, shield, war, nope, nothing good on you either. Okay, there's still crazy music, so there's probably more. Probably more bandits? No, okay, we got rid of them. Excellent. Also, question for you guys, how is, I've got my game audio a little quieter than my mic. Is it a pretty comfortable, like, is it a good mix? Or is the game too quiet? I always wonder that. Oh no, their horse died. And they had a garnet on it. Game is a little quiet for you. Perfect, I can hear the game this time, so that's good. So, but would it be better if the game was turned up a little bit? Because I can do that, I can mix it a little louder. Oh, that's Lydia. Lydia, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Okay, let me, uh... It has subtitles, so it's not the worst. But it's definitely quiet, it sounds like. So let me see. If I go into my game bar, that's max there. But I can go... I'm going to alt-tab out for just a hot second. And I'm going to turn my desktop audio up like this. And let me know if this feels better for you guys. Uh, it should be a little bit... A little bit closer to my voice. I just don't want the, like music can totally drown me out if I'm having a conversation with y'all. Let's go. You can lower the music only in the game if you want. Yeah, I think I messed around with it. I've turned up the characters and stuff, because that was something I was worried about. I want you guys to be able to hear them talking, but even still, they were really quiet. Trap door unlock. Oh, that was quick. Got it. 
Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go down. Oh, it's just this. Hello? Okay. Uh, maybe that was a waste of time. That's alright. We're on the way. Yeah, if the, if the game audio is ever too loud especially, please let me know. Uh, if it's quiet as well, so I can mess with it and just, yeah. We'll play with it till we get it, and then I'll never touch it again. Uh, get over the little edge. What's that? Are they gonna be... angry with me? Everyone so far has pretty much been upset with me when they see me. So the likelihood that these people are just chill with me walking up on them is low. But let's see. Hello. How are you? Stormcloak camp. You've got a lot of nerve walking around here dressed like an Imperial Legionnaire. Well. Hmm. I still don't like it. I didn't but mean I guess it. I'll overlook it. Okay, thank this you. This time. Well, you guys just don't have good armor. If you guys had good armor, I would be wearing it. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Mm. That's the guy they told me to talk to as well. Keep your eyes open. How do you feel about Skyrim this war? Skyrim is the birthplace of humanity, the birthplace of honor, and those snowbacked Imperials renounced both. When they laid down before the Thalmor. Thalmor. Worse still, to pay for the privilege to keep his throne, the Emperor sells Skyrim and our very gods, Talos no less, mm. to the damn elves. And what did Torik do? He and the Isles that supported him, they took the Emperor's gold, sold out their people for a slave master's peace treaty. Ulfric did right killing him. Soon we'll rid Skyrim of elves, their bloody justicars, and the yards in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. What are your thoughts on all this? And we'll cleave through the My legion to get to them. One night. Some say the Thalmor grabbed him. It wasn't At long first they called us that to belittle our cause. But we gladly accept being named for Ulfric Stormcloak, mm -hmm. the only true High King of Skyrim. We are the true sons and daughters of Skyrim, bed. and we'll Ulfric. He is the truest of us all. We fight to make our land great once more. To raise up strong, noble thanes, and lay low false yarls, and the cowards who hide behind them. Okay. The sound of our fury is a storm about to break on the heads of our enemies. Our friendship, a cloak of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. Do you give me a cloak if I join? Can I wear it? All right, then. Yeah, have a good one, man. That was a good chat. It's in here. Take that? Why not? These guys don't mind. We'll show those faithless dogs who this huh. land belongs to. You show a man. By the nine, I hate the waiting. We're going to God the Jurgen, the guy that we've been <laughs> supposed to go to for like three interludes now, three or four interludes. <laughs> So, when I was in town, you told me I had to put my weapon away so they would stop attacking me. Is that always true? If I have my weapon away, people will not attack me, and if I have my weapon out, they will definitely attack me? Because if so, that's something that I really need to start paying more attention to. Okay. Uh, let's get him. Necromancer down. Oh, good job, Lydia. Holy, that was fast. Iron Greatsword, that's not... Oh, the Iron Greatsword does more damage than... Than my Battle Axe? No. Damage, 35. No, that doesn't make sense. Right now I do 35 damage, but it says plus 2. Steel. 
No, okay, that's fine. Lydia, no. Iron dagger. Guards will arrest you if you put the weapon away instead of attacking. Oh. I understand. Okay, I think this is where the guy with the horn is. So, I'm gonna go check this out. Gold, bandit, gold, garnet, lockpick. I need to figure out where to sell these garnets. I've got a lot of them. Wheat. Cabbage. Don't need any of that. All right. Into Ustin Grav we go. Ha ha. <laughs> if you drop weapons on the ground, the guards will get mad at you for making a hazard. I love that. It really uh, hits my teacher, my teacher heart. Getting mad at people for the stupidest things. Thralls of yours are slower than Being like, really, guys, you're gonna throw your hammers on the ground in the middle of the street? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, goodness. Nope. Guys. Okay, let's, uh, 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 Imperial Bow of Sapping. That's the one I want. Good job, Lydia. Oh my gosh, I didn't even do anything there. She just took care of it. Getting it, putting in the work. Searching chest, doing the looting while Lydia takes care of all these, all these assholes. Can load. Um. Oh my, chat got messed up again, guys. Oh no, you fixed it. Thanks for saying something. Some NPCs will fight for the goods you drop. Oh. Weird. Uh, that's all, bandit. Okay. Let's go in this way, see what we can find. Novice conjurer, you're just dead in here? Did I kill you? Yeah, you're just dead too, whoa! Huh. Wah, ah, ah. Quick save, quick save, quick save. Oh. Die, please, please die. Okay. Visibility, that's okay. Huh. What are these? Big urns? Nothing in them, though. Empty, empty. I'm healing. Oh, there's a chest, there's a little, little sneaky chest. Little, this game is like, oh no, oh no. I've messed up my chat again. I keep forgetting that when I'm in menus, everything gets all messed up. I'm so sorry, you guys, I'm such a noob streamer. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just a little baby streamer who doesn't know. <laughs> doesn't know why nothing's working. <laughs> Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it one day. You guys will come back seven years from now and you'll be like, I remember when when you couldn't do anything. Cast iron pot. Er, this one's not empty. There's gold in it. 
Yeah, third person's tough in the in the caves. Like you can't get close enough to yourself. Lawless garnet. To like not have stuff all in your way, if you know what I mean. There's a book. Read. Mystery of Talera, Volume 2. Should we read another book? Is it time for another uh another reading session? We could do that. Let's see. Oh, we get stuff for it, too. Mystery of Princess Talara, Part 2, by Mara Liketh. She felt nothing, darkness enveloping her body and mind. Pain surged through her leg. With that sensation, a great feeling of cold washed over her. She opened her eyes and saw that she was drowning. Her left leg would not move at all, but using her right one and her arm, she pulled herself towards the moons above. It was a long way. Through the swirling currents that retched back at her, at last she broke the surface and sucked in the cold night air. She was still close to the rocky shoreline of the capital city of the kingdom of Calmlorn. But the weather had carried her quite a ways from the point where she fell at Cavilster Cavist Rock. Not fell, she thought, correcting herself. She had been pushed. Further down the current, she allowed herself to drift there. The steep cliff walls sloped lower until they were close to the water's edge. The silhouette of a large house on the shore loomed ahead, and as she neared it, she could see the smoke rising from the chimney and the flicker of firelight within. The pain in her leg was great, but greater still was the chill of the water. The thought of the warmth of a warm hearth fire was all the motivation she needed to keep swimming again. At the shore's edge, she tried to stand, but found she couldn't. Her tears mixed with the sea water as she began to crawl across the sand and rock. The simple white sheet which had been her costume at the flower festival was tattered and felt like a weighted lead, weight of lead across her back. Beyond the point of exhaustion, she fell forward and began to sob. Please, she cried, if you can hear me, please help. A moment later, the door to the house opened and a woman stepped out. It was Ramke, the old lady she had met at the flower festival, the one who had started and stared and cried. It's her! Even before she herself knew she who she was, by con oh no, wrong way. Okay, other way. By contrast, the old woman came to her. This time there was no glimmer of recognition in her eyes. By Sethiet, are you hurt? Ramke whispered and helped her up, acting as a crutch. I've seen that gown before. Were you one of the dancers at the flower festival tonight? I was there with Lady Julia Rays, the daughter of the king. I know she introduced us, she groaned. I called myself Gyna of Daggerfall. Ilvex. Oh. Uh, Astria, do you think you can figure out how to delete that spammy chat from Ilvex? Best followers, primes, viewers on Mistum. You can feel free to ban them too. It's probably just, I think it's just a bot. Thanks, Astria. Of course I knew you looked familiar somehow, the old woman chuckled and led her hop by hop across the beach and into the front door. My mystery isn't as good as it used to be. Let's get you warm and have a look at that leg. Ramke took Gyna's soaking rags and covered her with a blanket as she sat at the fire. As the numbness of the chill water began to leave her, it cruelly abandoned her, the intense agony of her leg. Until then she had not dared to look at it. When she did she felt vomit rise. Ooh, that's gross at the sight of a deep gash. Uh, vomit rise at the sight of the deep gash. Fish, white dead flesh, plump and swollen. Thick arterial blood bubbled up, splashing on the floor in streams. Oh gosh. Oh dear, said the old woman returning to the fire. That must rather sting. You're lucky that still, that I still remember a little of the old healing spells. Ramke seated herself on the floor and pressed her hands on either side of the wound. Gyna felt a flare of pain and then a cool, soft pinching and prickle. When she looked down, Ramke was slowly side sliding her wrinkled hands towards one another. At their approach, the lesion began to mend before her eyes, flesh binding and bruising, bruises fading. Sweet Kiraneth, Gina gasped. You have saved my life. Not only that, you won't have an ugly scar on your pretty leg, Ramke chuckled. I have to use that spell so many times when the lady Jillia was little. You know I was her nursemaid. I know, Gina smiled. 
but that was a long time ago and you still remember the spell. Oh, when you're learning anything, even the school of restoration, there's a lot of study and mistakes, but once you're as old as I am, there's no longer any need to remember things. You just know, after all. I probably cast it a thousand times before. Little Lady Jillia and the little Princess Talara was always getting cut and bruised. Small wonder the way they were always climbing over the palace. Gina sighed. You must be, have loved Lady Jillia very much. I still do, Ramke beamed. But now she's all grown and things are different. You know, I didn't notice it before because you were all wet from the sea. You look very much like my lady. I did mention that before when we met at the festival. You did, said Gina. Or rather, I think you thought I looked like Princess Talara. Oh, it would be so wonderful if you were, if you were the princess returned, the old woman gasped. You know when the former royal family was killed and everyone said the princess was killed, though we never found the body? I think the real victim was Lady, lady Jillia. Her little heart just broke, and for a while it looked like her mind did too. What do you mean, asked Gina. What happened? I don't know if I should tell a stranger this, but it's fairly well known in Camlorn, and I really feel like I know you. Ramke struggled with her conscience and then released Jillia, saw the assassination, you see. I found her afterwards hiding in that terrible blood-stained throne room. She was like a little broken doll. She wouldn't speak, she wouldn't eat. I tried all my healing spells, and it was quite beyond my power. So much more than a scraped knee. Her father, who was then Duke of Oloin, sent her to a sanitarium of the country to get well. That poor little girl cried, Gina. It took her years to be herself again, said Ramke, nodding in the truth. In truth, she never really returned. Altogether, you wonder why her father, when he was made king, didn't make her his heir. He thought that she was still not exactly right, and in a way, as much as I would deny it, he's correct, I think so. She remembered nothing, nothing at all. Do you think Gina considered her words carefully, that she would be better if she knew her cousin Princess Talara was alive and well? Ramke considered it. I think so, but maybe not. Sometimes it's best not to hope. Gina stood up, finding her leg to be as strong as it looked to be. Her gown had dried, and Ramke gave her a cloak, insisting she protect herself against the cold night air. At the door, Gina kissed the old woman's cheek and thanked her, not only for the healing spell and for the cloak, but for everything else, the kindness that she had done. The road close to the house went north and south. To the left was a way back to Camlorn, where secrets lay, to which she alone held the key. The south was Daggerfall, her home more than twenty years. She could return to the back to her profession on the streets very easily. For a few seconds, she considered her options and then made her choice. She had not been walking for very long when a black carriage drawn by three horses bearing an imperial seal, together with eight mounted horses, passed her. Before it rounded the wooded pass ahead, it stopped suddenly. She recognized one of the soldiers as Gnaud Booth, Lord Strail's manservant. The door opened and Lord Strail himself, the Emperor's ambassador, the man who had hired her and all the other women to entertain the court, stepped out. You, he frowned. You're one of the prostitutes, aren't you? You're the one who disappeared during the flower festival. Gina, am I right? All that is true, she smiled sourly. Except my name. I've discovered it's not Gina. I don't care what it is, said Lord Strail. Who, what you are doing on the South Road. I paid for you to stay and make the kingdom merry. If I went back to Camlorn and there are a great many who wouldn't be merry at all. <clears throat> Explain yourself, said Lord Strail. So she did. And he listened. Oh. Well, that's that was nice of him to listen, at least, you know? Didn't have to do that. Could have just kept being a dick. Like, he came in, came in hot to that conversation, so. Uh, let's see. Where are we going here, Lydia? Do you remember? We've already been here. These are all the dead people we killed. So it's gotta be... Ooh. Ignored mead. I don't need mead. Where we're going, we don't need mead. We've sworn to be sober for all of our time in Skyrim. Ooh. Okay. Uh, blessed Warhammer. Blessed Warhammer. Here we go. Hey. Guy. 
Got him. Boom. I like those things where they like just make you do a special special kill every so often. Spell to clerical lands. Oh, that's cool. Shows the path to the current goal. That's potentially very useful. Okay. Search chest. Steel cuff boots. Oh, those are good. Items. Arrow. Right now. Okay, I'm being going to be slightly less imperial now because now I have steel cuff boots, which are better. Aha! Now I won't be... People won't complain so much when they see me and they're not an Imperial. They'll say, ah, I see you've got different boots than the Imperials. I know that you are a friend. That's how it'll work. They won't even question the rest of my stuff being all Imperial. Ustingra bets. Oh, I should do a quick save. Quick save. All right. Wooden plate. Hmm. This is, am I outside? Oh, that goes outside. Oh, hello. Hello. Goodbye. I'm going to have so many of these Nord arrows. It's going to be insane. Are they good? Are Nord arrows? And they're probably not that good. You get so many of them. Isn't that where I came from? Oh, no, there's a guy up here. Where are you? Hey. What? Oh, there you are. Oh, that's Lydia! Sorry, Lydia. I didn't mean it. Um. Ah! Here we are! Oh no, this is where I- no, no, this is where I came from. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go down! Down into the depths. The depths of Ustendrav. To find the horny man of the wind. Ulrich, I think was his name. Okay, there's a trap there. Watch out for that, Lydia. How did I miss that last time? Because I've been here before. Speaking of arrows, if you get really a really good one, give it to Lydia and remove the rest of the arrows. She will shoot the good one indefinitely. Oh, interesting. Weapon recharge, yes. Okay, let's go weapons. Blast, let's go B. Oh, so Lydia just only needs one arrow in her inventory, and she'll just shoot forever. That's pretty cool. Wooden ladle. Huh. Hello. Oh, you're strong. You're strong. Got him. this where I want to go? No, I've been... No, I'm going backwards again! How am I... How do I keep getting so turned around? That's... 
That's what I need to figure out. If I could figure out why I'm getting so turned around, we would be better at this game. It's gotta be this way. No, that goes up too. I need to go down into the depths. Caring too much? Oh, okay, Lydia. I've got your back. I need to trade some things. You know I me. I am sworn to carry well, your burdens. I don't like when you're so upset about it. Weapons. So you can take that. Longbow. Is that better or worse than... That's worse. So you can take that too. Steel arrows are my best arrows, I think. Yeah, so let's give her one steel arrow, and maybe that means she'll shoot better arrows than she normally does. You lead, I'll follow. We'll give that a try. You know what I should do? I just got a tome, books, clairvoyance, and now I can go magic. Uh, shouts, restoration, Ooh, clairvoyance, this one. That way. Okay, this is really useful. Oh, I oh I did want to go up here. Darn it! Let's use my blessed warhammer again. Oh, I had to go up and then go down. I was just being stubborn, thinking I knew what I was doing. Okay. Let's deal with these guys. The Gear of Volant. What does that mean? I've never heard a drawer say anything before. Gold. These Draugrs are rich. There must be a lot of... A lot of noble people coming on down here getting Draugr to death. What's up here? Ruin book, troll skull. Nothing really that useful. Alrighty then. Galabob. Does my armor get damaged? I have to like repair magic weapons. Do I ever have to repair my armor? Ah! What was that? Ancient Nord crates for 28 damage. Where is this last guy? This is like a skeleton church. They come here every Sunday, and they all get together and click their bones around and say, Ooh, I'm getting old. Corundium ingot. I'm gonna leave the ingots. I don't think I need them. Don't remember the weapons and armor breaking down. Okay, just the, just the spells. That's good. Oh, skull. Ah, hello. Probably shouldn't use my blessed one on these guys, because it just instantly kills them. If I hit this, will it... No, it doesn't fall down. Okay. Up! Oh. 
let's go into the crypt. Whatever this place was called. There's so many names and stuff. Huh? Red? Red? Oh! Uh-oh. Hello. Okay. Got him dealt with. There's a puzzle here. You need to- oh. I see. Try not- if it's a puzzle, try to give me like a few minutes to, to mess around with it and see if I can sort it out before you- I'll ask you if I- if I, if I want to know that and know the answer if I'm frustrated. But most of the time I want to try to- want to try to get them, you know? Uh, magic, shouts, whirlwind sprint, and then... Go! No! Oh, I still messed it up. Are you ready, Lydia? You're gonna have to go fast. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. Aha! Come on, Lydia. Oh, it just stays open once I get through. Okay, cool. So Lydia can still I've got come. a bad feeling about this. Well, you don't have to come, Lydia. We don't really have a choice. We're following our destiny. And you can't not do what destiny says. Ah! Okay, there's gonna be. Oh, these are all. These are all pressure plates. That's what that noise is. Ah! Okay, run. Run, Lydia. Ah, uh, healing. Get him. Good job, Lydia. Hmm. Statues. Retrieve the horn. Failed? Why did I fail? Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you there, a friend. Oh, so it was gone? Someone... Can I take this now? Okay, I guess I can't have it. Someone beat me to it! Ooh, but they left the treasure room. Aha! Ha ha ha! You didn't get the treasure. I guess they said I was a friend, though, so they were a friend. They're claiming to be a friend. Branded a dwindling frost. It's worth a lot, so I'll take it. 
Magicka. Okay, cool. Oh, but I, am I heavy again? No, no, I'm good. Still running. Still running. Still a sprinter born and raised. No problem. What's that quote from Lord of the Rings? Dwarves are natural sprinters, except over long distances. Huh? Why do you always say, huh, when we go through a door, Lydia? I just want you to go through a door for once in your life without making any noise. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? That might be a lot to ask of Lydia. Ooh, what's this? Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever! Oh, more treasure. been here. This must have been me who killed all these. All these guys. Been live for almost four hours. This might be... This might be my longest stream ever so far. I'm having fun. I want to at least figure out who this person that gave us um that stole the horn from us is. And then and then we'll go from there. Maybe after I I should eat lunch at some point. So maybe after I talk to whoever this friend friend is. Um then maybe I'll uh Yeah. Then maybe I will I'll call it. We'll see. Um okay. I can probably do some fast traveling to this place. Yeah, let's fast travel this time. So we needed to go to Wind Hell. Is that right? Fight Run, Dragon's Reach, Fallen, Fight Run, Riverwood. Fast travel. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. We're gonna fast travel. It's not cheating, it's in the game. Man, the music in this game really just gives you a mood. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Run. How could mere men bring down such a beast? Oh, <laughs> well, let me tell you. They weren't just mere men. There was a girl there, too. It was me. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling you. I'm supposed to go and rent the attic, I think is what they said. Hello. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Well then, you can do that. I would like to attic rent the room, attic. Eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Mm -hmm. Make yourself at home. I suppose that'll work as long as you're going to tell the other dude that it's the attic. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. I have. Oh, this room. This room? This room. No. This is my room. I'm not stealing from the chest if it's my room. Steal? No, guys, this is my room. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Uh. I think you're looking for this. I am looking for that. Need to talk. Okay. Follow me. All right. 
Let's do it, Delphine. Meet with whoever took the horn. Yeah, I did that. Okay, so I've got to go back to the Greybeards after this. I see. I'm going to talk to this girl first, though. Close the door. Oh, oh okay, well, fine. You're going to be like that. Bye, Lydia. Now we can talk. Oh. Lydia. She said keep... Oh. She said to keep the door closed, Lydia. You're always messing everything up. Messing up my questing. This is a nice little room you got here. The Book of the Dragonborn. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprise? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Yeah, you are pretty good at it. Uh... Here I am, what do you want? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your <laughs> enemy. I already gave you the horn. You did I'm do actually that. trying to help you. Okay. I just need you to hear me out. Go on. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. Yeah. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How... How do I do that? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Okay, that's fair. Why we are you looking? We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Mm. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Well, I did once, but it happened mostly by accident. Um... This is no time to play the reluctant hero. Why? You either are or aren't dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. All right. So what's the part you're not dragons telling Dragons aren't me? just coming back. They're coming back to life. Mm, that's they weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think they're coming I know back they to are. life? I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. Oh, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there. And you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Okay. That seems fun. So where Kynes are we headed? Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Are we ready? Let's go I kill a dragon. My traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. All right. Well, she's getting ready, let's read the Book of the Dragonborn. And then and then we'll go kill the dragon, and I think that's probably where we'll we'll call the stream today. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior Emmeline Mandarin, Order of Talos, Way on Priority, Year 360 of the Third Era, 21st of the Reign of His Majesty Pelagius IV. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by Dragonborn Emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts, and in this book I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn. That's us! were known as Dragonborn down through the ages. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the Covenant of Akatosh, when the Blessed Saint Elisa was given the amulet of kings and the dragon fires in the temple of the one were first lit, Akatosh, looking with pity along upon the light plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Elisa with the blood of dragons and made a covenant that is not that so long as Elisa's generations were true in the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and the undead to their enemies. 
the Daedra loving eyelids. Those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood became known more simply as Dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the Empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings and light, dragon, light the dragon fires. All legitimate rulers of the Empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and the empresses of the first Kuraldic Empire, founded by Elisa Renan, Cyrodiil, and his heirs. Of course, Tiber Septim and his heirs, down to the current emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim IV. Because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the Dragonborn has been largely obscured and forgotten by all scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the blessed Talos, who is Tiber Septim. Very few realize that being Dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity. Being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become the emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragon dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatosh, descending upon them? All that we can say is that both and neither a divine mystery. Level up available after this, good to know. The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has come so commonplace. But we know for certain that the early Cyrillotic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that Remen Cyrodiil was descended from Elisa, although there are many legends that would make it so most of them during the time Remen and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the blades usually thought of as the Emperor's bodyguards originated in Akaburi, Crusaders who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late First Era. They appear to have been searching for Dragonborn, the events at Pale Pass bear this out, and the Akvari were the first to proclaim Remen Cyrodiil as Dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akvari who did the most to promote his standing with the Emperor. Although Raman himself never took the, that title in his lifetime, and of course there's no known hereditary connection between Tebor and Septum, and any of the previous dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion, but of course the imperial succession itself means that at the very least there are two more potential dragonborn at any time the current ruler and his or her heirs. The history of the Blades also hints at this, although little is known of their activities during the Intergra Negrum between Remen's empire and the rise of Tiber Septum. Many believe that the Blades continued to search out and guard those they believed were or might be dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being dragonborn. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten. In these days, when dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days being dragonborn meant having the dragon blood. Some of the scholars believe that this was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers and able to steal the power of the dragons they killed. Indeed, it is well known that Akavari sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion, and there is some evidence that this continued after they became Raman Cyrodiil's dragon guard. Again, the connection to dragons, the direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with what is, known as the prophecy of the dragonborn. It's often said to originate in an elder scroll, although it's sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akavari. Many have attempted to decipher it, and many have believed that its omens have been fulfilled, and that the advent of the last dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh's gifts to mortal kind has yet to be fully understood. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless and bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn.
Interesting. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. All right, let's do it. Okay, Lydia, get get up, Lydia, get out of the way, Lydia. Okay, let's go. Yep, following Delphine, Lydia. Come on, girl. She's like a horse, but worse. Close false back panel. Should we close that? What time do you usually go live? Um, I'm pretty new to this frog door, but I'm planning to stream every Saturday in the morning. So uh, I don't know what time it is where you are. It's about noon where I am right now. I'm normally starting between eight and nine, and I'm hoping to go maybe three or four hours every Saturday. And then in the evenings after after working hours, it'll be kind of random. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Um, I'm thinking about putting together a bit of a stream schedule, but I don't want to commit to something that I actually I don't know if I can sustain. Uh, but the only thing that's guaranteed is is the Saturdays. If I say, if I My talk to you. My analysis is correct. The dragon buried near Kynes Grove will be the next to come back to life. Where are we Kynes heading? Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Okay, let's go. Come on, we've got to get to Kynes Grove. Yeah, let's do it. Come with me. Come on. There you go. It is this way? Yeah, it looks like it's this way. I hope you're Dragonborn. I really Me too. Do. But we'll find out soon enough. Okay. We'll find out together, Delphine. Eat tropical Swedish berries, I'm telling you guys. You pick somebody else for your dinner. Yeah, you get them. I should probably switch, because, like, really, I'm not going to fight a dragon with with, uh, you know, I'll use ancient Nord arrows. I'm not going to fight a dragon with a hand weapon, because they're never going to come down low enough for me to hit them. So we're going to have to use a bow. What's this guy doing? I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. A united empire is better for everyone. You enjoy that, farmer. Join the Imperial Legion. Oh, now I have both sides. Both sides are trying to get me now. That farmer was the thing that tipped the scales. Oh my gosh, you guys. Should we raid someone after this stream? I've never raided someone before. Better stick together. Okay, we'll stick together. Fine. Why are you running all erratically, though? Let's just go all in one direction. Oh, Frog Thor, you can also follow me on Twitter at Alexis the Eel uh, if you want. I'll, I'll be always tweeting before I go live, so that's another good way to keep track, too. Um, I'm pretty active on there, or at least I'm trying to be, so that's a good way to keep in touch. If you're still around, I'm not sure if you were heading out when you were asking. And that goes for everyone, anyone who wants to, uh, stay in touch or keep track of my streams, Twitter is a great place to keep track of that. What's this? I hear... do I hear a dragon? We 
may both end up dead, but at least it gets me out of Riverwood. I don't really think I'm cut out for the quiet life. On guard. Kill him, Delphine. Oh. There you go. Good job. I don't like it. Still here, don't have Twitter. Ah, okay. Yeah, not sure if I should uh, expand out to more to more platforms or not. Right now I'm just sticking with Twitter. It seems to be working. You deal with them, Delphine. Thank you. Go on. I don't like it. Keep a sharp lookout. We can't afford any delays. Well, I'm hunting dragons, girl. I see a dragon, I'm shooting it. That's all I know. Lydia, keep up. Jeez. Instagram. Maybe Instagram is a good this platform is a to be on. Hideout, but it's also the shortest way to kind of Okay, I'll grab my uh, warhammer then. We may have to kill a few bandits. Better to stick together. I don't want you to get yourself killed before. We okay, you've already said that, and I take offense. Oh, I already killed all these bandits earlier. Ha! Ah. bell next to the follow button they'll give you a notify oh yeah that's not a bad idea as well always forget about that How far away is this dragon, Delphine? Just turn that on. I appreciate that, Frogthor. Been moving. I haven't stopped once actually. It's so funny when NPCs have that like just standard dialogue over and over. Are you guys gonna get angry at me? No, you're chill. Wherever the Daedra hide, the vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Cross the White River and follow it to Windhelm. Then we can swing south to Kynesville. All right. Cross the White River. You're just cutting cross country, Delphine. Can hardly keep up with you. I'm doing all that fancy footwork. Onward to freedom. Better to stick together. Yes, I don't okay. want you to get yourself killed before I you can get there. No, I'm not gonna get myself killed. And if I was gonna get myself killed on the road, do you think I would be much use in fighting a dragon? Probably not. So it's probably better if you test my skills on the road. Jeez. So needy. Lydia's keeping up as always. Good to see it. <clears throat> You'd rather 
be plowing a field? Not me. There's an inn at Kynes Grove, the Braidwood. I hear they serve if a nice you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, giant. tell them to head to Windmill. Mixed water mill. No time to chat. Gotta go kill a dragon and suck its soul up so this person will believe who I am and how and understand how important I am to the world. You know? It's really what this is about. This is about me being the most important. Nothing else. Should have picked somebody else for your tip. You just gonna handle that? Alright, I'll, I'll help. I'll help a little bit. Wouldn't want her to think I'm a lazy bone. Got him. Steel air, I'll take those. Keep a sharp lookout. We can't afford any delays. Not planning to delay. I'm glad you were willing to trust me. I know it probably wasn't the best way to introduce myself, hmm. but old habits. Yeah. Oh, level ups available. Uh, let's do that before we do this fight. Let's go, uh... Health. And this time, let's find a, a bow's one. One duration of Pickpocket. Oh, this is very dizzying. Sneak archery. Overdraw eagle eye. Pressing block while aiming will zoom your view. 10% chance. Let's do that one. Stealth Archer run begins. No, no. I'm still a big two handed hammer. -er. But I just, I don't think I need to be good at bows enough because of dragons. Like, how am I going to fight a dragon? Wood Elf? I don't want to kill a Wood Elf. He seems nice. I think I might be a Wood Elf. Well, Orcish Arrow. Pretty nice. Conjurer's Potion. Healing. Magicka. Oh, probably didn't need that bow, but that's okay. I feel like maybe I should put more thought into the actual, like, type of character I'm trying to build. Because I'm just totally randomly being like, oh, I'm doing this right now. Okay, I'll upgrade that. Jack of all trades is a master of none, but still always better than a master of one. You know what they say. Not too much farther now. Kinds Grove is just down the road to the southeast. Of Almost there. We have seen the wizards. Now we must fight the dragons to prove our worth. Not too often you hear the full quote. Yeah. Gotta do the whole thing. Why don't we just run that way, lady? I guess a lot of people stop. Like, they just say Jack of all trades is a master of none, and then they stop. That's sort of true. You're right about that, Astria. This is Kind Grove. Not much to look at. The innkeeper ought to be able to tell us if there's any dragon mound nearby. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands <laughs> only. <laughs> Let's see here. 
just uh, comes out of nowhere. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Okay, he gave us something, but we gotta catch up to Delphine now. He just totally threw us off. We were with her the whole time. We knew exactly where we were going. Because and then and then this courier out of nowhere is like, ah, yes, there you are. I have been looking for you. Uh, it's gotta be this one. Oh, uh, I hear it. I hear the dragon. Okay, let's. Get, uh, how do we get up here? Come on, we can do this. Your hands only, sir. Yeah. I'll do in. It's saying some words that I don't understand. Oh, do I see it? I see it. Oh. Okay, uh, we should do a quick save. So, Bo, quick save. Is there going to be like a cutscene before I can actually fight him, or do I just go? Well, oh, there he is. Where is he? Salkunir, Zeal Grotova Ursa. Oh, that's the dragon. The dragon is all the way. Ah. Wait. Oh, there's two. Oh, no. There's two dragons. Oh, why is there two? I am Salafir. Hear my voice and despair. Items, items. We need, we need potions. Healing, healing. Should I try to smack him with my actual hand weapons? Or should I just keep going like this? This seems to be working. Critical strike. Got him. I gotta absorb him so Delphine will care. figure out my carrying weight later. I really am. Born and raised, baby. the last members of the blades a very long time ago the blades were dragon slayers and we served the dragonborn the greatest dragon slayer for the last 200 years since the last dragonborn emperor the blades have been searching for a purpose now that dragons are coming back our purpose is clear again we need to stop them i don't know how i feel about that as a dragonborn like once the dragons are gone what i'm next that's what it feels like. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone. Huh. 
For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn. You found him. Her. We never I'm a girl in this game. Until now. Yeah. How do you know they're coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Oh, the other one. Yeah. Why didn't it attack us? Why didn't we attack it? Eh. I've seen that dragon before. Ah, that's the dragon from the opening scene. Really? Where? The blade were very prominent in Elder Scrolls IV. They protected the dragonborn emperors. It was the one that attacked Helgen. Interesting. Same dragon. Yeah. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. What's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Okay. Why? Okay, who are the Thalmor? The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. And we want to work the with these guys? Tend to lose the next one. Why are they Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Mm -hmm. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Why do you think they're Nothing doing this? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. Ah, you're The gut. Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Hmm. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. How do we do it? I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. All right. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Okay, I can wait. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay, let's quickly... Right behind you. Need to trade some things, need you to carry some stuff. I am sworn to Stop. carry your burdens. Don't sound so upset about it, Lydia. I'm gonna have to find a new person if you're gonna be gonna be a jerk about it. Apparel. Blacksmith's apron. That's not heavy, that's not heavy. Oh, I thought I sold all this stuff though. Did I get more cultist stuff? Imperial boots. Oh, here, take these. Those are heavy. Necklace, garnet, and the weapons, let's see, take that, orcish arrow, staff of sparks, hmm, books, books aren't heavy, keys, I want to keep all my, uh, Hold that, hold that. That's, like, none of this stuff is heavy, but... Oh, that's heavy. Okay, hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Let's go. Ingredients. Those are, like, super light. Giant's toe. Okay, hold the giant's toe. Keys, miscellaneous. Basket, you can hold that. Bear pelt. Ah, my dragon. Okay, I want to keep those, though. Those are fancy. 
Um, golden claw. Okay, well, you know what? Let's get going then. What we're gonna do. Can I fast travel when I'm all heavy like this? Wind Helm. Have I been to Wind Helm? Ah, okay, no. Light run. Okay, we're gonna go to High Hrothgar next time, and then we're gonna go talk to Lydia, but for now, cannot fast travel. Ah, I'm over encumbered to fast travel. Um, okay, Lydia. Right behind you. Need to trade more things with you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. What else can I give you? This one would be enough, but I don't... I mean, okay, you're gonna hold on to it. I'll get it back. I want to keep that axe, though. Lead on. So, map. We're gonna go... I rock our fast travel. Yes. Solante. Okay. And I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go save. New save. And we're gonna go... We're gonna quit out. We're gonna leave it here today. Next time... I just saved. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just make sure. Save. Use, did that save? I'm gonna use the quick save because it actually shows me at the top that it's doing it. Quit. To desktop. Yes. And then we'll go to uh, we'll go just chatting for a hot second. Oh, Seba, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. We should actually... Do you guys want to be part of my first ever raid? I don't even know how to do it. But I've never raided anyone, and I've got, like, there's people hanging out. I appreciate all of you so much. Uh, this was a really fun stream. I'm hoping... I don't know exactly when I'm hoping to be back, but I'm hoping to be back pretty soon. Uh, like I said earlier, I play pretty much, well, I want to play Skyrim every Saturday in the morning. So around this time, um, hopefully I can get three to four hours on those Saturday streams. And then during the week, it'll just be a matter of, of just seeing when I'm available. It'll be pretty random. I'm not ready to commit to a streaming schedule yet, just because basically I don't, uh, I, I just don't want to commit to something I, I'm, I'm not convinced I can necessarily do. Um, so let's see. Stream manager. Raid channel. Okay. Uh, I need to have... Okay, well, none of the people I'm following are live right now. So I guess, I guess we won't do a raid. But I really appreciate you all hanging out. Does anyone have any cool plans this weekend? Is everyone just uh, hanging out, watching streams, and enjoying life? I have to do a bunch of prep for work for next week. But it's also a long weekend coming up. Uh, in schools, we get the whole four days for Easter. So that's going to be really awesome. Uh, I think next weekend we're going to have to do some serious, like, on the Monday, Easter Monday, we might do, like, an all-day Easter stream because I think wifey has to work that day, and so I'll just be hanging out. If I can get my prep done for the next week before that, then we can totally just all hang out. It'll be super awesome. And I guess our plan next time, we've killed that dragon, so we need to go back to the people, the Greybeards, and figure out what their next piece of training is for us. So we're going to go back to the Greybeards next time. And then after that, we'll have to go talk to Delphine and start figuring out more about 
about where these dragons are coming from. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. Thanks to all the lurkers. I think I've had quite a few this time. I appreciate you all. I uh, appreciate everyone who followed Seba and Frog Thor as well. Um, if you're hanging out still and you don't want to miss the next stream, hit the follow button and the notification button. I also stream on, or I don't stream, I also post on Twitter before I go live, at Alexis the Eel. Uh, drop me a follow there. That's a good way to keep in touch with me. But I'm going to call it there. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Uh, thanks again for hanging out. And I'm going to go make some food. I'm excited for that. I think, I don't know what it's going to be. I think I might have a frozen frozen food of some kind that I can just cook up nice and easy. Uh, anyway, have a good day. Yeah, you, you guys too. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.